And welcome, everybody, to another episode of Seraph Plays Battletech. On this lovely Thursday night, uh, this wonderful, balmy South Florida night, as we uh, get ready to get fire things fired up here. So, uh, so last time, as I uh, kind of also wait for people to file in here uh, and get things rolling. Uh, also, this is a good time to just do a recap in general. Uh, so, when last we played. Battletech last week, we uh, did a mission called Grave Robbing, which ended up being <laughs> a very, very interesting surprise. We knew it was because it was a Star League era map, so we knew it was going to be something good, but we didn't expect to see an entire hangar filled with ancient, top of the line, amazing, uh, <laughs> amazing capability mechs, Atlas 2s. Highlander, 732Bs, all sorts of completely crazy shit. But unfortunately, the Torians officially entered the war last stream, but I didn't want to spoil things, so hence, ergo, the title of this particular episode. And, well, Commodore Ostergaard, turns out his son was on the Newgrange, was its captain, in fact, and is now very personally motivated to uh, kill Kamea Arano. Uh, and since she's our best client and who's giving us the best paying gigs, we definitely have, if nothing else, a very strong financial incentive to keep her alive. But that doesn't bode exactly well for the Oregon Reaches Civil War with Kamea, the rightful heir, and her uncle, the tyrannical director Espinoza. And that leads us to the events of today, where we're going to be kind of trying to stave off the Torians as they enter the war. And as it's going to uh, unfold here, there are going to be a couple of very interesting defense missions that we'll do. At the very least, we're going to do one defense mission, and depending on how well Seraph remembers how the campaign goes, we may end up getting to two defense missions. I just don't remember if they're... I, I don't, well, I don't want to spoil things, but... Um, there's a very, the very minimum going to be two defense missions, and they may be um, back to back, or there might be some other mission type in between them that we may end up doing. So without further ado, and uh, for anybody watching this on YouTube, if you ever want to watch live, feel free to visit me on my Twitch channel. The information is going to be down below. All the usual, like, subscribe for Schnurner, all all that fun stuff down below. <laughs> you guys have heard those. You guys have heard that spiel tons of times. You know how it goes. But I appreciate it because every little bit helps the channel as uh, as I grow. I am indeed a hobby streamer. My primary gig is as a PhD student. That that tends to keep me busy as I work through my dissertation. And so, yeah, when times where I'm feeling burnt out, at least a couple of times during the week, playing a few games certainly helps things out. And so this helps me unwind, and everybody has a great time. So for everybody, feel free to either chat or lurk to your heart's content. And you could probably hear in the back. Well, no, you probably can't hear in the background because I have my noise filter set up. But uh, my feline co-host is downstairs meowing at me. Uh, I'm not really sure what she wants, but uh, feel free, Cleo. Why don't you come upstairs? Come here, Cleo. No, no, kitty kitty's not going to come up here. We'll see if we can get her to either come up here or behave herself. In the meantime, we'll get things started. What we're probably going to do is we're going to fire things up with a couple of warm-up missions. Yeah, we're at Weldry. We just did the War Council, and we saved it twice just because we couldn't be too careful. We could take a look also just to see if there are any parts we could buy. I don't think so. Usually Weldry is not the greatest place for parts at this stage of the game. Weldry, I believe, has Centurions for sale. Because when we liberated it, if we hadn't managed to do anything... Wow, we're still... We're actually, we're actually pretty low here. Yeah, Centurions. We can, we can buy Centurion parts left and right. Uh, ooh, ooh, we could buy an Exchanger. Actually, that is, that is a big... Oh my god, if only we had money. All right, we may end up doing a couple of missions here just so that we could buy this exchanger. That is a big deal, but we are down to 1 million sea bills. 
That is not great. So at this point, we have our defense smithing option. We're not going to do that. We're going to do some other missions here. We're probably not going to do... Okay, that offers travel to bring them. Okay, it's against the pirates. We're not taking that mission. So it doesn't matter. Let's see what other missions we could do here. All right, pirate band. Director of convoy. Okay, so we can ambush a director of convoy. We're not doing that. Okay, directorate. So we can defend a... We, I kind of like this automation. Defend base mission here. We've got a prisoner. We got an escort mission. That one might not be so bad. And we've got this pincer one. Uh, but we're not going to take anything against that. So why don't we, just as we get things started, let's make some money so we could buy that exchanger. The exchanger ends up being a really, really big deal. And also, this is a since it's the very beginning of the episode, let's just take a quick look. Granted, everybody watching is probably up to speed on exactly what's going on, but we've got ourselves a nice Star League era Highlander with a freaking gauze rifle in it. Uh, we've equipped it with a rangefinder. Let's just actually refit this just to see it a little easier. We're just gonna shuffle this stuff around to make it a little easier to see. And uh, all right, so we've got our primary weapon is the gauze rifle. We did actually swap out the LRM-20 with an LRM-15 plus two damage. It does the same amount of damage, but we were able to essentially, because the LRM-15 weighs a lot less, we are able to pack a few more weapons into this thing. And so we did that with uh, support weapons, because even if we punch something, these three weapons will fire. Ideally, we'll substitute the small laser for an ER small laser at some point. The SRM-6 is a fantastic uh, damage to weight ratio weapon. They do end up generating a decent amount of heat, but still, this is a fantastic mech that now has a plus two hit defense gyro in it, makes it a little harder to hit. And so that's sort of the situation here. We're going to try and put in better, better components here as we kind of go along. But if we could take out this heat sink, for example, and put in an exchanger instead, we're this this mech is going to be much, much better. Um, I didn't think about it. So that's that's kind of where we're at. So we'll do a couple of warm ups. And while we do warm ups, we are going to uh, make some money and we're going to buy some. Indeed, as it turns out, there are some good pieces of uh, equipment here on Weldry to purchase. After all, usually there are not. In this case, it we lucked out in that there are. Especially considering right now we only have literally two months of uh, company finances. We can't actually even get to a third month if we did nothing. And at the moment, I want to say... Let's take a look here. Well, all right, so we've got two weeks until our financial report. So theoretically, we could have made it to one of the other star systems before we had to pay for the upkeep on the ship and all the mechs that we were doing and all the pilots and yada, yada, yada. But anyway, I think I've dilly-dallied enough. Let's do this defend base mission. And I'll read all this out in a second. I think we are going to go with this meta salvage because we're getting to the point now where salvage is valuable. And we're starting to encounter mechs that we actually want. We're not going to lose any more rep with the Oregon Directorate. At this point, this is just another war mission uh, in the saga that is uh, Lady Arano trying to topple the Oregon Directorate and restore uh, justice and order to the Oregon Reach. So we have a couple of decisions here. We are going to take this Atlas and put uh, Behemoth in charge of it. So the question is, do we try to give some of these guys some extra experience? And I'm actually sort of okay with that with this. So why don't we do that? Ice Tray, you're gonna go in that Atlas. We'll still send out Glitch in the Marauder and we'll still send out Medusa in the Archer because the missile boat is freaking amazing for knocking shit down. The Marauder makes the entire Lance more hardy and because the marauders built in lance command module gives a plus to precise shot we could probably get some headshots in with that marauder very nicely so we're gonna keep that marauder we got a nice little front line mech here yeah this this looks good and we even have a victor now that's now going to be our backup front line mech and the 
Phoenix Hawk, Star League era Phoenix Hawk here, we're going to use for certain very specific missions as they come up. So let's deploy this. This is a pretty good lanced layout. And we shall begin. Oh, what a week. On the plus side, while it's loading up, ah, I'll do read out this little blurb here since I didn't read it out before. We have an urgent problem that needs an immediate military response commander. We've just detected multiple directorate dropships en route to one of our supply bases. Logistics bases are generally protected by automated turret systems, but this attack force is much larger than the turret systems were meant for. We want you to provide additional firepower in case the turrets aren't enough. This job doesn't seem all that difficult, uh, Darius says, but turrets, please never send a machine to do a mech warrior's job. Well, that was fast. We already have <laughs> we already have mech contacts. Hey, Darius, uh, are there supposed to be turrets guarding this place? <laughs> there should be. Why? I'm not seeing any turret power signatures coming from the facility. Of course not. I'll contact our restoration representative and find out what's going on. In the meantime, Commander, keep the enemy away from that base. Cute. Argo, this is restoration local command. Our turrets have been disabled by sabotage. Well, now there's a surprise, Yang chips in. That's going to make this mission rough, Commander. Uh, uh, mission rough, man. Suggestions? I have a team of engineers that can manually restart the turrets, but that can only be done in person at turret control. Okay. Roger. Commander, if we want any backup, we'll need to keep those APCs alive until they get to the turret control building. Hopefully, shouldn't be that much of an issue. All right. Yeah. So, normally, the way this would work, don't like the idea of using him to sensor lock things. So let's reserve and see what happens here. Hopefully they don't destroy both APCs before I can even go. That's the only problem with having somebody with sensor lock in the ranged mech. In a, in a way, that wasn't the greatest selection on Seraph's part. Renegade, on the other hand. So, you... Mm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm just not gonna be in a position to be able to do a whole lot here. So, this is okay. Let's just jump up here. So I'd rather have range on the archer than anything else. So, oh, I cannot sensor lock any of these things. Great. Well, shit. Fine. Brace. We'll just go. We'll set up position here on the heights. Let the enemy come to us. This is a fairly well-equipped lance for a three-dot mission. For a three-skull mission, rather. So I'm hoping we're overly prepared on you, Commander. for this particular combat. Blind. Yeah, we're just going to move up here and we're going to brace. Uh -huh. Go to cover and brace. Because a few enemies have already moved and they didn't get to within firing range, so I'm not excessively worried. Although for a second, that wasn't uh, sensor range, and now we know it's an assassin. That's not going to be fantastic, just because of waiting for orders. Everything else. Uh, yeah, just go into the woods. At least there you'll have cover. Location confirmed. And if you could sensor lock the assassin, all the better. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm still out of range, so we'll just brace. This is fine. Waiting for orders. You can sprint. Yeah, we'll just sprint up here. This is fine. I don't want to overcommit. But we'll just reposition the high ground. Especially since we've got a full lance coming in from that direction. It looks like a medium lance coming in. But no, in this game, it wouldn't surprise me if that's a feint and enemies show up over here at some point. But again, we're not exactly positioned so far out of position at this point that we can't recover if something else shows up in that direction. I think we're okay here. Move 
we've got Griffin. There's that assassin. I think the same one. Good. All right. Well, I'm not thrilled with it. It's thrilled that it's protected that way. I think I'd rather shoot at the Griffin. Yeah, let's just shoot at the Griffin. We'll do a little bit more damage to it. Moving out. Let's light up the Griffin. Gage. See how much damage we do to this thing. We might get an armor blow through already. Yep, and we did. Perfect. I'll probably have Glitch just take a shot. Ah, there we go. Argo, my engineers are powering the turrets up now. The APCs will scatter and provide support. Excellent. Okay, roger, local command. Commander, looks like we have a few more guns on our side. That's going to make this a lot easier. Especially since this can now scan over there. So I don't have to worry about getting outflanked so much. Well, we really didn't have to do a whole lot to get the turrets up and running this time. Oh, fuck. Okay, that needs to get destroyed. <laughs> Fucking immediately. Good to go. Okay, let's... Uh, I'm not really thrilled with this, but... Let's see. All right, so you know what? Thank you. So we'll go B and C. Yep, that works. And we'll just shoot at all of them. And because of breaching shot, we're going to do full damage to each of these three. And because we're firing at them, they're not going to fire at the APCs. Not that we really have to worry about that at this stage, but still. Considering how guarded and protected they are, I'd rather just do full damage. Perfect. And we got armor blowthroughs on all three of them. Let's see what this Alsvin APC does. At this point, it's just going to probably take position up by the base. Maybe it'll sensor lock something. Perfect. Yep. Thank you. Whittle down some of that. I don't like the idea. Well, let's at least move just so that it does something. Fortunately, I really can't do much in the way of... Because the way I set this up with the whole Master Tactician thing, although it is nice to have an Assault Mech going in this phase before they can go, but now I'm really regretting not having uh, Multi-Shot with my primary Mech Warrior. Then I would be able to just switch back and forth, do full damage, full damage and whatnot. Eh... You know what? We'll just move here, and we are just going to shoot at that catapult. Because I'm probably doing the same amount of damage as I would be to this one with the full of that. So let's just let's just shoot at the catapult. See if I get a critical hit of some sort. That's fine. We'll take that. No stray shot, huh? That would have been nice. But up. Ready to get it on. Certainly. All right. So we'll shoot. Wow. All right. Or. <sighs> yeah, I guess this is. Fine. I get you. On Unfortunately, the they're two. They're clustered together. Very easy for any kind of stray shot to hit one or the other. I just have to live with it. I really can't hit anything else. So we may as well go after the catapult. Acknowledge. That catapult is what could hurt us the most. All right, we got a critical hit. The jump jet. Heavy damage. Not bad. At least make it a little less maneuverable. Although the AI usually underutilizes jump jets. Let's see what happens here. The crab's a decent mech. Surprised? Ready for orders. I am kind of surprised that that's all they did there. On my way. Back up a little bit, and we will continue to focus on that catapult. Again, that's the biggest threat. We should do some serious damage to it this time. All right, we blew off its right arm. We basically took off half of its armament. Works for me. Yeah, shoot at the turret. Although that's what I would do. The turrets are generally easier to destroy. Yeah, it still hit me with a stray shot. That sucks. 
<laughs> Systems holding. But what can you do? Here's my concern with this. All right, so I could light up the assassin at this point, and I think that's the better play. Plus, I can move around that a little bit. So let's precision strike this guy and try to just destroy this assassin right now. Good. That was probably overkill, but that's okay. I'd rather just get it out of the way. Enemy mech destroyed. Really ruin their action economy. Well, I think it did get to go and shoot at me, so it didn't really affect their action economy that much. Wow, we're almost knocking that fucker over. Yeah, all right. Hey, that turret did its job. It took damage that I didn't have to take. What can I do for you? I'm inclined to Let's see. Yeah. All right. We'll do the same thing. We'll just uh, kind of go down the line. We'll shoot each of them. Uh huh. Perfect. Now it's unsteady. And it lost its evasive. Nice. Good old breaching shot. Oh, we did some more structural damage. Even better. So, so far so good. Getting things started nice and uh, on this chill, <laughs> kind of chill mission here. Yeah, we'll just shoot you with... Oh, really? That's unfortunate. You're still out of range with everything else. Wow. You know what? Fine. We'll just attack you with the LRM-20. See what damage we do to it. We might knock it over with this volley. If we knock it over, it's worth it. Oh, well, we didn't knock it over. That's okay. <laughs> The more these guys close in... Got eyes on hostile yep. Oh, but the reinforcements are going to come from the same direction. Perfect. My biggest concern with missions like this is when you have to deal with them coming in all sorts of different directions. All right, but now at this point, that crab is out of the... Uh, out of the tree line. It should be... Receiving you. In firing distance. God, what do I do you here do i go do i really go after that catapult or do i start going after this crab because it came out into the open like that i think i sh well renegade or glitch will be able to go next let's move into position let's do the most amount of damage because i think if i shoot that i'm just going to overkill the ever living hell out of the catapult Target. And the catapult is already severely damaged. Ah, we already blew off its left arm. Good. We're halfway to knocking that guy down. Got past his armor. Yeah, it's really not all that exciting of a match at the moment because we're just kind of staying put and just kind of uh, using terrain to our advantage. Sensors have something. Yeah, they did manage to move over pretty good though. They're coming at us from a much further southerly direction than I thought they would. I thought they'd be up here. That's all right. Perfect. Didn't even destroy it. Wasted action. Well, okay, that one destroyed it, though. What can you do? They're serving their purpose. They're taking damage so that I don't have to. They've got a lock on me. Yeah, well, that sucks. It'd be nice if I could have fit the targeting computer into the archer. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to effectively do that. Yeah, let's just finish off this catapult. Catapult's done. Enemy mech destroyed. That would be 
really nice that depending on what you have, if you could do enough damage to really make that crab unstable. I don't think it... Yeah. It's just going to make sense a lot. Ooh, gravity tire. I wonder what that is. Waiting for orders. Could start maneuvering over in this direction to get to the woods. That actually might not be the worst idea. Actually, is not the worst idea. The only problem is I might get caught out in the open for a minute. Well, let's do it. Don't need to tell me twice. Because then, as we get closer, I could use the more heat-efficient uh, medium lasers instead. Let's go after that crap. Let's knock it over if we can. When I shoot you, you'll there it take is. It and Perfect. Like it. And that's why those extra modified, extra stability damage PPCs are amazing. Now that crab is a sitting duck. Well, that might be it for the APC. Ah, cool. It held up. You. Wow, really? Yeah, okay, fine. We've got enough, uh... We've got enough going on here. Let's actually see. If I can do... Yep, alright. I'm going... Oh, shit, actually. You know... Oh, wow, actually. Yeah, you know what? Aye, aye. What we'll do is we'll advance, we'll put on some vigilance, and then we'll just take out the uh, griffin if we can. You using vigilance. Fuck up that griffin. Roger that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, kill. with that amount of ordinance, I'm I just looked at it and I'm like, I don't see I didn't see the griffin really holding up well after that kind of an assault. All right, we got an enforcer over there. Well, shit. Uh, all right. Yes, Commander. Medusa. Shoot that. Destroy the crab. <laughs> it's right there. How do you not go for it? Perfect. Hostile eliminated. Plus, that crab was spying for the enemy. Now it can't even really shoot anything except for what the enforcer can see. Well, and now the assassin. This is... Oh, interesting. I guess they're sprinting. I'm like, why are they just moving and then bracing? Interesting. Yeah, they must have just had to cover a lot of ground. The APC hanging on. Yeah, that Kentaro can really... Okay, just an RM5. Let's see. That's the other cool part about uh, Vigilance. You go a turn in advance. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Got something you want done? So, I guess the question is, do I go or... I hear ya. Let's get to cover. And let's... Let's shoot the Vulcan, Crab, maybe that Enforcer. Yep, Moving out. perfect. Although I don't know with the heat situation if I'm going to be able to actually pull that off. Yep, nope, I can't. So, but I can still shoot two things. But do I shoot the Vulcan? I think I shoot the Vulcan. I think I shoot the Crab. And that's probably going to be all she wrote. We'll just do that. Call it a day. Shoot these Got two it. guys. Do some damage. Breaching shot. Boom. These screw up its sensors. Perfect. Let's see what this APC does. Might be the last turn of the APC. But I'll take it. That works for me. 
It's actually a good use of it if it doesn't have any good weapons. Okay, fucking grasshopper. That's uh terrible. Orders. All right, let's uh My god. <laughs> the old Trey C20. It can't fucking hit because the the recoil on it's so extreme. You know what? That's okay though. Coordinates received. We'll just move up there. We won't fire the AC-20. We'll just fire all these other weapons. We'll let it do that. And we'll just do some Target damage confirmed. to this Vulcan. Nothing crazy. Ooh, nice head hit. We'll take that. Probably not gonna matter much, especially on a mech as light as a Vulcan. Ooh, a Thunderbolt. Sweet. That's, yeah, that was it for me. I mean, that APC lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. So here's the cool part. This is the funny part. I could shoot that Thunderbolt and we got a decent chance of just lighting it up without, uh, because the gauze rifle does five points no matter what of structural damage, which means we got a chance of a critical hit on that Thunderbolt. So if I precise shot at center torso and hit it with the gauze rifle, we might do no other damage, than, but that mech might just explode. Want to take that chance. Let's, let's take the chance at it. Engaging target. Yeah. All right. Didn't work out. But hey, we had a we had an easy chance at just a quick mech kill. I feel like it was worth the shot. Those thunderbolts, those things. Yeah, whenever I recover a thunderbolt and intend to actually use it, by. Uh, the first thing I do is remove all of the uh, all of that ammo from the center torso. Okay, so what here? Should I be? Oh, I'm thinking the enforcer. Yeah, let's, let's actually precision strike this enforcer. Sure. Actually, no. we're just gonna regular attack the, the, the enforcer since we're shooting at its side anyway. Got it. It's like a free precise shot anyway. Very likely we blow off that arm. Wow, we did not blow off the arm. That's amazing. That enforcer is lucky as shit. But now I can advance with the Marauder. Wow, this is a lot. Oof. In a way, I probably should try to fall back a little bit so the other turrets can actually do something. Although we only need to last five rounds. We don't actually need to destroy all these fuckers. Oh, fuck. Please don't do damage to me because of heat. Reporting. Minimal damage. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. But yeah, this is a lot now. <laughs> this is a lot of fucking mechs. <sighs> One more turn and the Atlas will be back in cover. Yeah, unfortunately, they're all lighter than me, so they're all going to get to go. Okay. Let's see, there are us four, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, it's literally two against one at the moment. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I should be trying to get the fuck out of this. Wait uh, on you, Commander. Oh, you haven't even been shot at yet. Where's the enforcer? You're the enforcer? I should probably try to go for this enforcer here. Uh Alright, let's let's go for the enforcer. You betcha. So we've done some damage to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's and we're still shooting at it from that angle. Got let's it. see what we can do to the enforcer. There we go. We got its torso here. And we probably knocked it over. There's more where that came oh. from. We didn't knock it over. Fuck. Yeah, that grasshopper is is a problem. Okay. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. 
crab, huh? Okay. Much as I'm not a th not really all that thrilled with all this shit, let's try to take out the crab. Mostly because everything else is either defensed or anything else like that. I kind of wasted the shot before with the, um, against the Thunderbolt. I was really trying to get ahead of the game. But all right, now it's seven against four. Good. Thank you, turrets. Good. They're within range of some of these turrets. That's good. So it's not quite seven against four. It's at least better odds than that. Now I should be able to get to go. Yep, perfect. Commander. Go. I think we go with that. Location confirmed. Back up. Get back into the trees. All right. Now I could precise shot at Vulcan. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oops. Shit. Ugh. Well, fuck. All right. Yeah, let's. Uh. Yeah, let's still try for that. Not great, but Jesus. Yeah, we need to get his heat thresholds up. Good. Okay. I had a feeling that AC-20 shooting, though, would destroy that Vulcan. Got what I wanted out of that. The difference between earlier matches and these, our pilots and mechs are now good enough where we can actually take out enemy mechs entirely very, very quickly. Which is... As you can now see, extremely important. I think, yeah, we're just gonna. Can I move? Orders. I really can't move much. I'd really rather not be right next to the, uh, man, next to that. So, you know what? Let's just do that. We'll precision strike this guy. Fuck him and the horse he rode in on. Let's, Let's end the enforcer. Good. Okay. So we may not need to hold out for reinforcements. We, d we did have the option of trying to pull back, see if we could draw this out till reinforcements could arrive, but I think we're going to be able to fight off these guys. Perfect. Yeah, actually, that's good. Fire at the Marauder. I think the Grasshopper is going to be my next target because that Grasshopper can do the most amount of damage of anything left on the field. Unless this stupid ass, uh... Waiting for orders. I think that's what we're gonna do here. Let's, uh... Hmm. Interesting choices here. Let's do that. Might just go for that assassin here. I mean, this is also defensed and defensed, but the assassin has the lightest armor. Yeah, let's go after that guy. Let's see if we can do some damage to this assassin. Time to die. We blew off a torso. Not bad. Yeah, critical hit. It's a shame we couldn't do more damage to it. I could have done a precise shot to improve my odds, but I didn't. Yeah, we've actually got enough resolve. Probably could have gotten away with that. Let's precise shot again. I think we could actually take out that Thunderbolt even from here. With everything else. Well, although that grasshopper. Well. All right, I probably could just shoot the assassin and take it out from here, but I don't think that's a good use of my resources here. I really do think trying to precise shot Thunderbolt is the way to go because that Thunderbolt is still pretty I think we got this guy because even if it the gauze rifle doesn't touch up that center torso oh the fucking gauze rifle missed we're not even going to breach the armor okay well we did breach the armor 
We just didn't preach it enough. I was hoping one of the SRMs would light off the LRM ammo. No such luck. Wow, that turret survived from the, uh, from that. That's amazing. Ready for orders. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna stay, stay and fight here. Okay, the UAC is not gonna do shit. I feel like moving around here is the way to go here. Don't like the idea of doing that though. So let's just attack you. We'll just shoot and maybe one of those hits the center torso. Confirm. Come on, LRM ammo explosion. Damn. That Thunderbolt is certainly doing its job by drawing my fire and not dying quickly. I tell you, this is an interesting warm up. Whoa. Commander. All righty then. Shit. Uh, yeah, let's fucking do this. Shit. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of in. Jesus. Confirmed. Advance. Only shoot at it with one LRM 20. Precision strike. Yes. <laughs> Firing on target. Come on, buddy. LRM Explorer, it is. Finally, we lit, touched off the ammo. Gotcha. Because each time one of those missiles hit, there's a critical chance. Usually, I'm able to blow up a Thunderbolt quicker than that. Pilot of that mech certainly did his job. All right, now we got to go after that Kentaro. But because it went, it's now dangerously exposed. Yeah, this Kentaro is dead. <laughs> this Kentaro is dead. It hasn't taken any damage yet, but there's no way it's going to survive this onslaught. Even with certain things missing, I just, I don't see, yeah. I mean, it's a medium mech. Taking a, a freaking precise shot near Alpha Strike from a Highlander. It just doesn't have enough armor. Well, okay, there goes that turret. But now we can focus on the grasshopper. Actually, depending on how close certain things are, the Lich what might just advance on the glass. Oh, no, I can't. Can't do that. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, let's go after the assassin. Yeah, let's let's shoot that assassin and try to kill it. Definitely. Uh -huh. Good, perfect. Assassin's done. And then I'll have Glitch physically attack something next turn Did to cool that? off. Did you see it? Why do you have anything? Oh, okay, that other turret can at least sensor lock. <laughs> yes, All right, you can advance. Yes. Of course, the Atlas is just overheating. This is a problem. don't think even yeah that'll do at least we'll cool off a little bit and you'll shoot some things i hate just wasting kind of a turn of an atlas with its firepower just to whittle off some evasion but we did some good stability damage to it and it lost evasive that was worth it ice trade doing his job and we're giving him valuable experience Ah, oh, they moved further away. It's almost like they knew that's what I kind of yep. wanted to do. Well, let's knock him over. Don't think I can do this. But I can certainly shoot you with a shit ton of LRMs at point blank range. Thanks to a lot of tactics being able to shoot within the minimum range. But that'll be that. Cool, large laser Target. crit and a critical hit. you could take a tumble. Another minus one initiative. Good deal. I hear ya. Yeah, I really can't do a whole lot here with you. Let's see what happens. Okay, 
toggle off the PPC at least. And probably not. You, would, I would have to do 100 damage, and I'm only going to do 90. So not not a great. Uh, <laughs> that's not great math there, but that's okay. Let's just Here we go. let's just get a little closer. And now it's just got five damage. So this thing is toast. Next time, so yeah, it's got 11 damage. The thing is toast. It's not even worth me firing at it. I'm better off uh, firing at the Centurion. Ugh. Really? Yeah, this is where having multi-shot really would come in handy. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's fly down. Try and do as much damage to the Centurion as possible. I'm almost tempted to take a headshot at it just to see, but I think I'll play games with that with glitch rather than uh, rather than renegade. Goodbye, Centurion. And that's the first time we even shot at the Centurion. Thanks to the sheer offensive firepower of that Highlander, we could we could take out mechs at a really quick clip. Reinforcements are going to be here in two rounds, but it doesn't matter. The grasshopper is all that's left. Yeah, now what? <laughs> Standing by. It's unfortunate that um, we ended up taking some damage. On my way. Uh, the buildings, rather. We almost had a perfect round where the buildings didn't even get attacked. Okay, so you're gonna overheat. If I shoot that. Okay. Yeah, no, we're we're good there. Let's see what happens. Let's just fire. Goodbye. <laughs> Didn't even need to precise shot. That ultra auto cannon just does such crazy damage. Although for an auto cannon, it generates a lot of heat. And just like that, Successful. we're done. We just made some nice cash, and we took no damage. That's even better. Made the better part of a million sea bills. Ah, because we also got our all target buildings must survive. So yeah, uh, as you can see, this Highlander build, because it, it, again, it does so much damage. We're going to get a lot of mech kills in that thing. Most excellent. Can we complete? All right, we can complete an enforcer. So let's just go with that. I have a feeling we're going to go with that plus AC 10. Probably that plus... Ooh... Plus three medium laser. Let's see. Ah, uh, I think we got to go with the cockpit mod. Jesus. That was pretty awesome. Okay. So some good loss tech here. I'm not a big fan of these arm mods because they weigh a ton. But for the free ones, yeah, we'll take the plus three medium laser. All right. Did it give us that? Oh, and it still gave us, it still gave us the AC-10 and the LRM-10. Nice. That was a great round. That was a great, great salvage uh, roll. How nice of it. Yeah, it's not every day we get we get good. Uh, we get good salvage rolls with all that. <sighs> we are going to have to go to Smithen. The question is. I'm actually inclined just to do a couple that like these missions on Weldry. Online. And just go to Smithen again, just to kind of build up our funds. Because yeah, we could go to Herotidus and for the black market, but if you don't have a lot of money, we're not really going to be able to afford the stuff that's there. Let me take a look at the hiring hall real quick, just make sure there's no good, uh, real good pilots, and there are not. But it was worth a quick check anyway. What's up, boss? Waiting for her. Perfect. Mech warrior Upgrade training you. Complete. Yes, Commander. Stand you should by. be able. To, yep, perfect. We'll just upgrade you. Training complete. Receiving you. Same here. Nothing free. Okay. Uh, indirect fire penalty. 
Let's see. Okay, yeah, we'll go with the plus three hit defense. Orders. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I don't think we need to do anything with the mech bay or anything else like that. We're just going to go right into the command center and we're going to do that other contract. That actually took longer than I thought it would. It took us a better part of like an hour just to do that one mission. That took, that did take a while. Not sure why that took so freaking long, but whatever. So we've got a uh, prisoner escort. We haven't done an escort mission, uh, I don't think, in this entire playthrough. And we've got an ambush convoy. I actually kind of like the idea of us doing both of these. Let's just do this real quick. We'll do this escort mission. Uh, we need to transfer a prisoner from Weldry to another system. This prisoner has allies in the Torian Concordat that will stop at nothing to set their ally free. To make it harder for them to target the prisoner, we're doing our best to send out mixed signals on the prisoner and when the transfer will be. We're also sending restoration forces out as dummy convoys and sending multiple vehicles in each convoy. However, your convoy will be the real one. So away we go here. And yeah, now the Torian Concordat's gonna absolutely fucking hate us that works just fine for me and this is gonna be a four skull mission but we've got like essentially five skulls here we really should be able to handle anything that this this throws at us so we'll do our first escort mission i don't think we've done an escort mission i am pretty sure this is our first escort mission of the playthrough uh, this is a hot one, Commander. This is going to be a crapshoot. Which one the Torians will decide to make their main assault? Spoiler alert. It's going to be ours. You need to prepare as if it's going to be this one. Yeah, it, it, it's going to. <laughs> it would be nice if we could have a mission where we just go and we don't get attacked and we just make money. Wouldn't that be nice? But no, no, that never happens. Ever. Looks like the Torians got here before us. Guess the deception didn't work. Get to the rally point. The convoy arrives and you're not there. It'll be a bloodbath. Keep the restoration units alive and get them to the extraction point. Olivera out. So away we go here. Take the road. Make pretty quick work of this. Which? Uh, all right. Well, I guess we'll do this. Kind of. Okay. You know what? No. We're we'll go here <laughs> and brace. I didn't realize these fuckers were going to be all around here. Shit. Well, all right. At least... At least these two are moving pretty decently. But, uh... Let's see. I'd rather... Yeah, you know what? You can go into the Got woods. It. Have cover. And it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a, of a skirmish action before we even get to the rally point. Fucking Torians. Looks like this is a light... A fairly light lance, though. Well, technically medium, but... Why, thank you. I actually prefer when they go first and shoot. Ready for orders. Yeah. Uh, just shoot this. Oh, wow. That's better. <laughs> I will take 65. We're going to do a shit ton of stability damage to this cicada. And we're going to possibly get rid of its evasion. Oh, my God. Or we could just destroy the cicada outright. I hope we can salvage that. <laughs> I don't know, Medusa. You sure turned it into slag, bro. I think I may have called him Darius by accident there, but I meant Medusa. Of course. The computer always seems to get those stray shots. Whenever I specifically go for stray shots, it feels like I never Wait get it. You, Commander. Not really sure if that's just me being unlucky or if the computer really does have some sort of a like a bias in at hand or something. I don't know. Coordinates received. Certainly feels like the computer gets them a lot more than I do. The polar environment will certainly be helpful for the Marauders' sheer ability to heat up. Another hit like that and you're toast. Damn straight, Glitch. <laughs> oh, we got a quick draw. That's a problem. Fortunately, it's far enough away. Can't really do a whole lot of damage to us. But still, heavy mech? That's not good. Jump. I like this plan. Yeah, let's just fuck up the cicada. Engaging jump jets. 
take some high ground. Give it a harder target. <laughs> Gauze rifle just blew out its center torso before anything else even hit. Let's see, what's that? Probably a thunderbolt. Yes, Commander. Yeah, we'll and sure, we'll shoot you with LRMs. I get you on the move. Work. Copy that. Whittle away some of its evasion. I think it's still gonna get to go before I do anyway. I don't know what that. Aye aye. Usa gets to go. Yes. <laughs> Open fire. The 95% of those missiles. Wow, 95%? Did I cram that targeting computer onto the uh, archer? After all, I may have. I may have taken out a heat sink and uh, managed to make it fit. <laughs> I managed to make it think twice. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. Uh, all right, well, I'm just gonna advance and shoot you with a PPC, a breaching shot PPC. And I'll get good bang for my heat buck here. Yep. Reaching shot. Boom. Well, you know what? I should have gone for a uh, headshot there. I went too fast. Because with a breaching shot, it would have gone straight through it. I had a decent shot of killing its head. I should have done that. That was stupid on my part. Uh, Sure. Let's just go over here. We'll shoot at it with a bunch of this stuff. We've got enough ammo. It's not really efficient. This is why I should have done that. Then I could have sensor locked that thing instead. But that's okay. We'll do some damage. Make it get the point that just hiding over there is not going to save it. Yeah, we'll do. We'll shoot at it with some more LRMs. That's the only problem with the base Atlas. It doesn't really have great range. Roger that. It is a fantastic frontline brawler. No crits. Oh, all right. Can hurt. Hmm. Man, we are fucking this mech up. Something fierce. But let's reserve. Let's see if we can get it to go. That works for me. We'll do we'll do more damage this way. I think I've inclined. What can I do for you? Yeah, if I get closer, not probably not going to get this guy. You know what? That's Don't fine. Need to tell me twice. Now we're going to do what I should have done. Oh, I'm at the wrong angle. I still have a 33% chance here. So, yes. Let's go with that. Roger that. Firing on target. Yeah, gotcha. I should have done that last turn. Oh, well. Perfect. Now I made this thing. Oh, a catapult. Yeah, now this catapult's going to die. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Yeah, the Marauder is a, is an incredible headshot machine. <laughs> I need to start using that more often. For just that effect. Uh yes. Oh, this poor catapult. Solid connection on that one. Yeah, I would say so. Good. Yes. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Let's. Engaging target. Couldn't hurt. Had a one five shot at it. Oh, but we still hit. Destroy. Still destroyed the head anyway, through repeated uh, 
ER large lasers. Works. Okay. Now, this is the edge of the map. So this is the capture zone. Where the hell are we going to have to take this thing? Take it over here? Where are we going? I'd love to know where we're going. But I have no idea where we're going. Okay, we'll just go. We'll jump here for right now. And then we'll have everybody else sprint. Because I don't want to be too spread out. I think what's going to happen is we're going to take the road and go this way. That's what I think is happening. But I'm not entirely sure. Move. I don't see the dropship pad. Which normally is a good clue. Although I see this over here. So maybe, well, maybe that's where the dropship's going to show up. Can't imagine they're going to send us all the way over here. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Enough. Sprint. And sprint. Move into position. That's why I only had them move. Hey, Freakbot. Hey, Ghosty. What's going on? I'm just doing a couple of warm-ups here. <laughs> well, make sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, I'm not... In yeah, I, w I wish I knew exactly. The problem is the, the map doesn't tell you in advance. Engaging where it's going to send you. So you just kind of have to figure it out sometimes. We'll sprint up here. We'll move. I'll just move here for right now. You and then I'll have that. Medusa sprint. And we got a couple of campaign missions coming up. I'm going to do the defense of Smithen. And uh, cruise over. Let's see. Um, we got a couple of components that I'm saving up for that are on sale at Weldry that I've been looking for. Exchangers in particular. All right. Restoration convoy leader has confirmed that you've secured the area and they're inbound. They're using multiple vehicles to conceal which unit the prisoner is being kept in. Try not to let any of them go down, Commander. So basically, we've got a uh, we've got a Torian prisoner to which I can only guess is either a Torian intelligence operative that uh, the restoration captured. Ah, I was right. It is sending us over there in that little landing area. Um... So I, I was right. You could sort of see it over here now. So I did guess right. Uh, keep in mind that the convoy will try to stay near you for protection. Continue advancing to get them to the extract point. And so now we get to escort all these guys uh, over across this road. So yeah, I mean, it. You were able. I was able to guess it, but I would have felt more comfortable if there had been an actual landing pad over there to really tell me for sure that we were going to go over that way. And so, yeah, our mission is to make sure that this prisoner gets to that dropship uh, for transport off world alive. The only thing I can think of is that the Restoration uh, told the Canopians that they had this guy and the Canopians were like, yep, give him to us. We'll we'll get any intel we need out of this fucker uh, for you. And so they just hired us to make sure this prisoner gets off world. OK, you know, we really didn't do too many missions like this in tabletop. Um, yeah, we can sprint. We can sprint. We'll just sprint. On my way. Hello. Yeah, glitch can really get far. Moving out. <laughs> no, you get over here. Perfect. Move order. Received. Because there will definitely be Torians uh, that show up. Uh, so anyway, Freakbot had the rest of uh, Contra go. That game looks awesome. <laughs> Part of me wants to get that, but I think, well, no, I could always play it on the health bar thing just to see. But yeah, some of those, some of those say, oh, nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I look forward to catching up on the VOD the, for the rest of it. It looked like you were closing in on the end there. I was like, ah, oh, I already committed to starting at eight. I actually really thought about starting at nine just to watch the rest of it. But I'm like, mm, I already committed to eight. I should start. Uh, did a quick arcade mode, got to level 5 on hard with the health bar. Yeah. Say la vie. That's okay, that's what VODs are for. Not, not the end of the world. <laughs> I'm glad I got a chance to, you know, enjoy uh, at least a good portion of it live. That game looks fun. But that's, like you said, that's not the first time um, that particular developer has 
um, has done a Contra game, and the first time it worked out really well. Position confirmed. Uh -huh. So they know what they're doing. They clearly know what they're doing. Amazing, when you get developers that actually give a shit, you get pretty good games. Kind of like this one. <laughs> HBS did a really nice job with this. This is extremely faithful to uh, to the tabletop experience. Oh, let's see if that uh, if that vehicle gets caught in the river. <laughs> yeah, it was way forward second rodeo. It looks like they did an even better job on this one than they did uh, the previous time. Let's see, let's jump. Yeah, let's jump. Engaging jump jet. The Highlander is probably my favorite mech in BattleTech. Uh, <laughs> I've always been very partial to to the Highlander, and not just because of you know there can be only one. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go, fuckers. We knew. Moving we out. knew they would try to ambush us. That's okay. Hopefully, we can intercept them before they even take a shot at our guys. Yeah, I'm not really thrilled with that. Let's reserve. Let's see what else we can have have go here. Good. It looks like these guys are just moving. Perfect. Yep. Don't even take a shot. That works for me. <laughs> that definitely works for me. Okay. Yep. So this being the case we're gonna cruise up here we're gonna do vigilance on the archer just despite the archer being a heavy mech it isn't the most well armed of things <sighs> yeah we're gonna just gonna try to chew into this centurion roger fortunately that's not the greatest way to get to a centurion because there's nothing on that arm. It acts like a shield. I think I've mentioned that before, but just for anybody that's just jumping in, it's good to know. Okay. I hear ya. So you, this being the case. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We'll do this. But I think what we're going to do here, since the Marauder has that keen ability as a headshot machine. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's not fuck around. Headshot. Got it. <laughs> I need to queue up the boom headshot sound effect. We're going to be doing that a lot in this mech. <laughs> These fuckers. So we're going to jump. Yep. Go right into this. Perfect. Yep, we're going to shoot at that Wolverine. Perfect. Actually, let's go for that center torso and let's see if even with the defense up, we can destroy this mech outright. Ooh, we got close, man. I know we got close. I don't think these APCs even try to shoot, though. They're purely targets. <laughs> Ready for orders. How close did we get to destroying it? Wow, 35. We got so close, man. So close. Oh, shit. We get an SRM carrier inbound. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, yeah, let's... Shit. All right. Yeah, we'll... Fine. We'll shoot at the Wolverine. Because who knows, maybe we get a fucking critical hit. Maybe we get a couple extra shots in here. At the center torso. Target Why not? Away. Who knows, maybe a couple extra hits. We get lucky and maybe we blow up that thing. Nope, we only got two hits. That SRM carrier has to die immediately. Yep, they're just going to move. So otherwise, Freakbot, Ghosty, anybody else? How's your uh, how's your week been going so far? Yes, Commander. Hopefully things have been good. 
I know Freakbot had a bit of a rough day yesterday, so hopefully today was better. Uh, that SRM carrier is... Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck that oh, thing. <laughs> Good, we got it. <laughs> Jesus, the SRM carrier could do so much damage to you. Dear God. You know, one of these days I should actually do the math and see what kind of damage output an SRM carrier does. The next time we see one of those, I'll, I'll have to do that. I'll bet it's an absolutely stupid amount. It's it's got to be a it's got to be like an absolute asinine amount. Got it. We'll advance. We'll go for the headshot. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is a no-brainer. Headshot. Nope. No, we didn't get it. But we fucked that and mech up for something fierce. <laughs> I will take that. <laughs> Perfect. We basically defanged the Centurion there. And that Marauder is uh, starting to take a pounding. Commander. Right on cue. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Well, I'm not really all that worried about the Centurion now. Engaging jump jets. I'm thinking I'll just shoot the Wolverine because yeah, we'll just shoot the Wolverine. It sucks to have all that in the center torso and not really have a good shot at it, but that's okay. I mean, at this point, we're still going to destroy it anyway, just like that. I think we're about halfway through the campaign. We've got a decent amount left. And actually, this is a this is a part where the next, especially the next campaign mission or two, in my opinion, are really interesting. The warm-ups have taken me a little longer than I had kind of expected. The first match took us a freaking uh, a freaking hour. Uh, which I didn't expect. Oh, perfect. Moving the Atlas is going to knock over the Centurion, and then the Centurion's dead. Um, so then we'll, we'll reevaluate, and we'll see if we want to do one last mission here with warm up. Ooh, he might take out the Centurion. Okay, didn't. But we'll take the knockdown. Yeah, we got a decent amount of campaign left here, which is, uh, which is cool. And like I said, in my opinion, the campaign kind of starts to pick up at this point. You really get a good feeling that you're in the midst of a civil war between the Arano Restoration and the and Espinosa's Directorate. Especially with the Torians entering the war. The Torians entering the war completely throws a wrench into fucking everything. Um, yeah, yeah uh, I, I don't think this guy's going to last. Call it a hunch. <laughs> the mission may end right here, which would be pretty nice, actually. Oh, nope, it's not. I copy. But we'll do a little bit. We'll do a little bit of damage. The ally turn. Will they get to shoot at it? I don't think so. Let's see. It is a centurion in the medium phase. It will go in the heavy phase. Yeah, unfortunately, it got to go. So I couldn't do any more any more real called shots on it. But this Centurion is super fucked up. It only has two medium lasers to really do anything. Oh, and an LRM-10. But at that range, I don't think it was able to hit me very much. Waiting for orders. Yeah, let's just advance. Affirmative. I think I'm only going to be able to shoot you with a couple of medium lasers. But we'll do it anyway. No PPCs, but we'll shoot those. Right, Commander. Goodbye. <clears throat> I'm guessing Enemy we can just get picked up where we are. Oh, there, there's more. <laughs> All we need is Billy Mays to be like, hey, but wait, there's more. <laughs> well, shit. That means once we get to the drop zone, the Torians are going to drop even more of these fuckers on us. Well, whatever. More salvage for us. Woohoo! I'm gonna need more water in a minute. But while we wait for these guys to move, uh, I was actually pleasantly granted this is this is a battletech stream, but I was actually pleasantly surprised 
by uh, how well Eastbook 1 and 2 uh, held up. I mean, the bump system was still awkward, but it was awkward even in, in 1990 when the game came out. Um, but I'm enjoying that game, I think, just as much as I did when I was a kid. Now, I don't know if some of that is the nostalgia factor of, ooh, I get to play this game again, or what. But I feel like it's it's aged well, all things considered. And we'll jump up here. The Atlas, you can come up here. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll we'll just do that. We'll do that. Roger. Marauder. I don't want to overextend right, Commander. past where these vehicles are gonna go, because if you go too far ahead, the vehicles won't follow really kind of annoying and these vehicles can't really move for shit anyway <laughs> they barely go anywhere it'd be nicer if these vehicles could actually have some giddy up to them but they don't they just kind of truck along and naturally they're super fragile because of course they're fragile So I'll probably play some some more Eastbook 1 and 2 on Sunday, assuming I don't play something on Saturday. If, if I play something on Saturday, I don't think it's going to be Eastbook 1 and 2. But I think I think Saturday for me is going to be a kind of cleanup day and um, who knows, maybe I'll just play some Final Fantasy 7 off stream just to uh, just to finally get that game under my belt. Moving along here. Come on, guys. Psst. They take forever. <laughs> going live at 7.30 p.m. as usual. Nice. Yeah, you've got a nice Saturday schedule going. Um, I know you didn't used to stream on Saturdays, but I, I, I enjoy your, your Saturday streams. It's a good time. Location confirmed. Moving to position. Actually, this is a good time to do a shout out. Since we're talking about those. All right, and and the bot works again. <laughs> God, that bot was so fucked up. While I do that. <laughs> what? I enjoy your, all your streams so much. I watch them rather than stream myself. Nice. <laughs> Although Ghosty is an awesome streamer. I do have a lot of fun. Ghosty has sold more video games to me <laughs> than I think any other retail employee in the last 20 years. I ended up buying Scarlet Nexus watching his stream. I'm like, oh my God, this game is awesome. Um, ended up buying um, Until Dawn. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's... It's 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 awesome that uh, I'm really really quite fortunate to have met uh, the, the awesome streamers that I've have uh, online either through Freakbot or Kara or uh, or uh, Helldivers once by building. You know what? Frank has been on me to play Helldivers. I think I think we're gonna be stuck playing that. So yeah, you know you know yes. I really should play Armored Core because that also looks super awesome and it's a fucking mech game. And obviously I love mech, mech games. <laughs> I am a solo sucker for mech combat. So <laughs> you're totally right, Ghosty. I probably will be picking up Armored Core. Uh, I think it's what Armored Core 6 is the new one. It looks super fun and it's awesome. Uh, actually, per your suggestion, I still need to pick up that uh, PS5 headset. Because, um, I mean, we may as well talk about this while Battletech is doing its turns here. Um, Helldivers 2, I'm hoping more stuff will be added for you guys. Yeah, that'd be nice. I didn't realize Helldivers 2 has a fucking Game Master in it. What's the dude's name? Joel or Jerry or... Uh, yeah, Six Fires of Rubicon. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had no idea that there was this, like, meta of a, um... Of an actual Game Master that kind of controlled certain things uh somebody at work was telling me about uh about the badassery of uh and again i'm totally butchering the name jerry or jeffy or 
whatever. But the the, the Hell Divers two GM, <laughs> Ghosty probably knows the name. <laughs> well, the reason he hasn't typed it is because he's laughing so hard he can't type the name. <laughs> oh man, I am such a jackass. <laughs> there's like, oh, there's like five, uh, five, uh, there's some live like DMs that I think bot assistants. Gotcha. But yeah, sometimes people are like, is the DM fucking with me? I've even seen Frank titled one of his streams uh, that I would give shout out for Frank, but I don't think he's got a uh, channel on here. He only has a YouTube channel. Uh, Joel. Joel was the name I was thinking of. I knew it was a J name. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Looks like the trains decided to hit this convoy hard. We're picking up additional enemy units. Yep. Here are the enemy units. Okay. But cool. They're actually showing up over here. We're actually between them. So perfect. We're in good shape here. Excellent. Now that the Torians have shown up, we can actually kill them. We can get the fuck out of this match and we can get on to our defend Smithen mission, assuming we don't do that third mission that was actually available here. But I, I'm okay with, I think I'm okay with just taking, um, taking off from Weldry here because we really should be able to afford, if not one, both of those exchangers. We should have some fun with that. The Torians will move again. Fucking Torians. Yeah, we'll reserve. Let's just let the Torians move. I'm totally okay with letting them move. They're not going to be even be within. Oh, they are going to get within range. Okay. Well, that fine. Okay. Fine. We can. I can make this work. Let's. Uh, Let's light up this motherfucker. On my way. <laughs> Since they were so nice to just crest the hill like that, let's uh let's nuke this piece of shit. Yeah, fuck this asshole. Let's fuck him up. Let's make their evasion go away. We might actually make its evasion go away. We're gonna about to do some serious stability damage to it. Well, not enough. Not as enough. We blew through its armor though. Holy shit. I think I need to send one of the mechs forward so that they keep advancing, though. So I may need to have Glitch advance with the Marauder. That's the only part that sucks. But the Marauder with the PPCs has the range. Wow, those guys are horrendously out of position. Good to go. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I could also have the Highlander advance, but I'm just going to... I'm just going to go this way. You know what? On my way. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Let's go for the headshot. Roger that. Preaching shot. Well, we didn't get it, but we tried. <laughs> we tried. I mean, you had we had to go for it. We had to go for it. Engaging jump jets. I mean, we only had one one third a chance at it, but I feel like that was worth it. Now let's go for the kill here. We still might get the Shadowhawk. Yep, we got him. Perfect. Now the enemy can't even shoot at us. Keep making a run for it, guys. Uh, where are these guys going to even come from? We only got two mechs here. That's a good question. Where am I? Going? Uh, shit. Maybe I just sprint up here. <laughs> I actually, I think that's the play. We're just going to sprint. Full throttle, buddy. But yeah, Helldiver 2 does look really fun. I know I'm going to get roped into uh, playing that on online with Frank, although I was watching him and Phoenix Nade play that on YouTube the other night. And that game really does look like bl a blast. Like, I, 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 bust, I bust Frank's chops a little bit for being a little obsessed with it. But if you're going to choose a game to be obsessed with, I think that might be the game to be obsessed with. It looks, it looks hella fun. I really wasn't going for that pun there. Sorry. Good to go. Reserve. Let's see Good what these fuckers are doing. I don't think these guys really have much to do here. That's going to be all. Oh, really? I got to rate one more round for these fuckers. Affirmative. I don't think there's anything else for me to really do. So this being the case, why don't I 
Why don't I just jump over here? I'll sensor lock this thing. And I'll shoot it with a ton of LRMs. This will sensor lock it. Know what we have. Ooh, we got a Warhammer. That's nice. Be a shame if uh, someone just started shooting it. <laughs> Be a shame if somebody just started uh, opening fire on it. Meant for with uh, friends type of game, not solo friendly at higher levels. Trust me, I know. Oh, I, I, I bet. I bet. You know, that's to me, that's a lot like MechWarrior 5. Um, the AI for MechWarrior 5 is fucking garbage. Oh my god, we blew up its left leg already. Scored a critical hit. But yeah, I definitely got the sense that uh, Helldivers 2 was a play with friends game as opposed to this. Oh, come on, really? Stick Kusik. Yeah, all right, all right. So glitch. Commander? You need to get over there. Sprinting. I did advance fucking ice tray, but whatever. It's a shame. I'm going to have to wait till next turn for them to go. But we knew that. Up, we kind of knew that going in. Let's see. I we will me. advance. Yeah, let's go for the other leg. Fuck Roger. it. I don't even know if any of those even hit the left the left leg. The difficulty doesn't scale down to amount of players. It's always geared at full group. Oh. Oh no. So wow, they really fuck you if you uh if you don't go in full strength. Wow. Wow. Ouch. That's uh that's brutal. <laughs> that is, uh, that's not nice. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so cool. They're in, they're in the drop zone now. Is this guy still knocked over? He is still knocked over. Good, I can go now. Let's, let's fire on you and see if I can take out the other leg. It'd be really nice if we could get a Warhammer for our trouble. I don't think we can. But well, we're gonna try. Take a shot. Come on, right leg. Yeah, damn it. That hit something good. Nice little critical hit. Let's reserve. Perfect. Good. That dropship's gonna take off in a minute. And then we get to decide whether or not we wanna make a run for it. Or if we wanna fight these two last mechs and just kind of get get it gone wow okay that's just guard highest difficulty is nine i was able to solo a few sevens but then it becomes more tedious over fun by uh <laughs> yeah 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 i i hear you there uh shit man you know what let's just guard roger venting the objective Perfect. is secured commander all right so do we bug out to the evac zone or do we kill these other two now we have an interesting choice to make based on the enemy enemy's position here that's the part that's annoying they exit combat they get a free turn oh here's our evac zone well i guess we'll see i guess we'll see how much how they make our lives if they make our lives any easier or if if the if they just make our lives miserable I think we'll just go over here. We'll just kill these guys. I think that's the plan. Oh, we got a Griffin and this dumbass Warhammer. Precision shot. Oh, it's not going to let us do that. All right, fine. Just shoot the Warhammer then. Him. Attack. Hey, kitty. Locked on. Hello, Cleo. <laughs> Well, so much for the Warhammer. We turned it to slag. The problem is it turned its it's it, it turned it away to the point where we couldn't get the easy kill on its leg. We had no choice but to completely core the fucker. Oh, Vel. Oh, look at that. Uh, yes. 
Hmm. I wonder what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we'll play games with this. Let's go for the headshot because even if we don't make this headshot, this fucking griffin is so dead. I mean, we're going to do a shit ton of damage to this fucking thing. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Waiting for orders. We'll sprint. Moving fast. Because the archer will go before the, um... The, well, the archer may not go before... Done. The archer may not actually go... Moving out. Before the griffin goes. The griffin may yet go after this, assuming I don't just kill it here. Although I don't think the griffin is close enough. Yeah, no. We're not destroying the griffin here. Fire. We'll do some more damage to it, though. Including some stability damage. Might get some critical hits. Yeah, we knocked it down. I don't know if doing a precise shot and knocking it down, if those initiatives are cumulative. I think, I think they only stack, so you can't continuously you. knock the thing down over and over and over. It doesn't. This griffin is destroyed. We'll just do this. It's faster than getting to the evac zone. Fuck this guy. Got it. I should have made sure I wasn't going to overheat to the point where I was going to do damage to the mech, but obviously that wasn't the case. Perfect. Yep. Collect you where you are. Successful. So we'll take a look. Hello, Cleo. Hello, my feline co-host. Oh, you look like you're going to bite my foot. Don't bite my foot. I love you. <laughs> my fucking cat. Oh, my God. So anyway, we got some bonuses. Made nearly a million sea bills. Got no damage, practically. The Marauder took some damage, but nothing, nothing crazy. So as you can see, as we get further in here, uh, we're doing better and better. Let's check a look for lost tech, because that's always nice. We will take plus 10 damage medium laser. We'll take plus two damage SRM six. And that's it for that. Okay, can we get any mech salvage? Well, we'll take the Warhammer salvage and we'll see what else we get. All right, we got some quick draw salvage. Perfect. So now we can complete a Warhammer or a quick draw next time we encounter one of them in the field. So we are doing quite well. Company composition wise, we'll send the enforcer down to storage. We'll sell that. And then, yeah, we'll buy two exchangers. And then we'll get to work outfitting the Highlander and the Atlas. I think we should probably focus more on putting an exchanger in the Atlas because that overheats way more than the Highlander. Let's go to the mech bay. Where's our, yep, there's our enforcer. Send that to storage, yep. Sell this guy. I don't think we have any other mechs. Oh, we did complete a Griffin. Yeah, we may as well sell that Griffin too. Perfect, okay. Money is no longer something we have to be overly concerned about. That is good. Cockpit mod. Yeah, we might want to go with that. The exchanger is more important here. New equipment available. The only problem with this exchanger is it weighs four tons. Uh, <laughs> it's really not the greatest value. It, it, it just, it's, it's just, I mean, it's nice that it only takes up one slot, but it just, it weighs so fucking much. Um, we've got the money though, but still, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually on the fence to even invest that much in it. I think I'd rather just buy this rangefinder. New equipment. All available. this a day. Okay, let's go to the mech bay. Yeah, let's go to engineering. We'll go to ship upgrades. This is the part we're going to spend this money on Med Bay 2. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, That's a better we'll use of our funds. And then once we do the defense smithing. <laughs> nice, nice, ghosty. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, the joy with the X's. Good grief. 
Uh, what was I doing before I got completely derailed with the four ton joke? Uh, right, we upgraded the med bay so we can heal from injuries faster. Let's take a look at this Highlander. Is this mech in particular we need we need this to be good so two tons all right so we'll take out one heat sink for sure and what i'm kind of inclined to do is to take out one of the double heat sinks it's not great but better that and put in an exchanger and we'll put the exchanger in here and we're actually we're truly actually a little more heat efficient than we used to be. Believe it or not. Because uh, with the exchanger, you just generate less weapon heat, period. You don't even have to worry about sinking it. Granted, double heat sinks are awesome. So we just lost the ability to sink nine heat. But we now generate. Um... I think 11 less so it's it's like not that big of a deal but the exchanger always takes away the weapon heat so even on something like a desert world or anything else like that it's still taking away that heat so overall an exchanger is objectively better than especially two single heat sinks but in this case it's better than a single and a double heat sink and now i've got an extra double heat sink just in case one of these gets fucking damaged or destroyed somehow. So that is a that is a good that is a good exchange for that. I don't think we did anything else to really merit any other changes. I think we still have some pretty good stuff. We don't have better well I could put in two better medium lasers on this guy. We do fire that pretty often. We could switch out that medium laser for a better medium laser. But all things considered, I think I think we're okay here. Let's go defend. Well, let's go spend some XP. Standing by. I'm here. Don't think anybody Ready else can. Orders. Well, you certainly can. Yes, let's go with the hit defense. Sure. I don't think you can. Yes, come Perfect. In. Okay. So now we go to contracts. And now we're gonna go defend Smith and this mission Roger that, gets Commander. bonkers. <laughs> this this definitely gets dicey. Uh, there are a lot of objectives you have to keep in mind. Um, yeah, we really didn't generate any any repair bills. We did a couple of missions on Weldry. We got some uh, travelers in need. In the daily briefing, Sumeri brings up an open hail from a nearby ship. They say their crew has contracted a virulent case of the periphery pox, but the local government is preventing them from landing to receive medical care. Darius shrugs. We could sell them some of our medical supplies. It would limit us in the med bay for a bit, but given their situation, I expect they'd pay up. Dr. Rand bristles at this suggestion. Spacers should stick together, Commander. Besides, the local authorities might appreciate our generosity. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just give them the medical supplies. We don't have anybody that's injured. I could take the hit from the med bay temporarily. Let's see what happens. Um, all right. Well, this works. You nodded, Dr. Murad. We're the only world... Uh, we're only one bad bug away from the same situation ourselves. Make arrangements for a transfer of supplies. Over the next several days, word trickles through the ship about your decision, and the large contingent of lifelong spacers and the crew express their support. Sumeria also passes along a message of thanks for the planet's surface for resolving the situation favorably. So yeah, we have a minus one medical point penalty for 14 days. Again, nobody's injured, and nobody's going to be injured in the 14 days it's going to take us to get to Smithen. I think it's going to be a 20-day trip. And, uh... Not that it really matters. I think we've already maxed out our rep with the Irana Restoration, but we increased our morale by one, which is always nice. And I am now dancing around my cat who is using my desk leg as a pillow. My adorable little shit. And if I'm not careful with my foot, she's going to bite my foot. So if I suddenly squeal or screech or do something very unmanly, just know that it's my feline co-host Cleopatra deciding to add some chaos to the stream today. <laughs> while we while we wait for the dropship to travel through space. 
And if I were so inclined, I could be checking some of these stores as we were going just to see if there's anything like really exciting or lucrative in these. But it's not like we're completely rife with uh, money. Cool, we already completed our Mech Bay 2 upgrade. Let's see, you know what? This might actually be the time to upgrade Gamma Pod. It's gonna take two, Ooh, yeah, no, I'm not upgrading that. Nope, 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 nope. We're not doing that yet. We're not doing Mech Bay 3 yet. That's just too rich for our blood. Let's just wait. We've got six days till we get to Smithin. So once we get to Smithin and we do this priority mission, and we get significantly more money, then we can upgrade the habitat pod. And then we'll get some other really nice additions to the Argo. So this part's gonna be pretty cool. Smithin, as you remember, is the desert world. That was the, f that was, <laughs> so in <laughs> Invasion Smithin is kind of notorious for being a difficult mission. That's the one where we're outnumbered like 10 to four and they have turrets and you're supposed to somehow interdict the ammo crates or the ammo transports. And <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that was a bonkers mission. Well, once again, we're gonna go back to Smithen and we've got a Smithen and the defense mission. This is also going to be pretty fucking bonkers. So we're gonna proceed with this shit and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this Highlander, the Atlas, the Marauder and the Archer. The only question is, uh, actually, we're going to go with Ice Tray. And the reason why I wanted to go with Ice Tray is because he has multi-shot. And there's a reason why on this mission, especially, um, right, it's multi-shot, multi-target. Uh, multi-target is incredibly important. So without any further ado, let's begin this shit. I think they pretty much tell you once you land on the surface what the hell's going on. I don't even think they tell you before you go down. They probably gave you somewhat of a hint, but it's not the end of the world. So yeah, in the wake of Commodore Ostergaard's initial attack, Torian battle mechs have continued to wreak havoc on the general population. We have dropships en route to evacuate as many refugees as they can carry, but the Torians will target them if they get the chance. I need you to deny them that opportunity. <laughs> and then Darius's uh, input here. If Ostergaard were pulling this bullshit anywhere but the Reach, the whole inner sphere would be screaming about war crimes. We can't let the Torians get away with what they're doing here, Commander. Punish them for it. And we're going to do our best to do that. Interface initiated. The spaceport in front of you is packed, wall to wall with civilians, most of them refugees from the capital. The Torians have been targeting them as enemy combatants. I need your help to keep those people safe until we can evac them to safety. We have three of the late Lord Corosus's dropships en route to insist with the evacuation. The captain of each vessel will call in on, a, uh, on approach. Shepard 1 will be heading for docking pad Alpha. And this game shows us what the zone of destruction actually is here. Shepard 2 is set to dock at pad Charlie. Shepard 3 is heading for pad Bravo. Oh, mm. You need to keep the enemy's eyes on you and away from the docking pads. Above all, you need to keep them from firing on the docking pads fuel reservoirs while the dropships are being loaded. Hmm. A la the new Grange here. Any hostiles that you fail to engage will almost certainly target the fuel tanks. If they manage to take one out, the resulting explosion will wipe out everything nearby. Dropships, refugees, you name it. Including your own battle mechs. You can see a fuel tank's estimated blast radius in red on your screen. Good luck, Commander. The Torians aren't going to make this easy. Protect our ships. Help them get our people home safe. So yeah, it's us four and a couple of uh and a couple of Lady Orano's vehicles against uh an entire Torian company. <laughs> I shit you not! It's one lance versus an entire Torian fucking company. The amount of bullshit is hilarious. Ready for orders. Now, the only thing that helps is that I could just advance and punch this fucking Jenner. So we're going to do that. Position confirmed. Because we're not going to hit it if we shoot at it. Its evasion is just too crazy. 
As long as you keep attacking those hostiles, they won't be able to focus on the fuel tanks. Keep pressuring them, Commander. Whoa, we knocked it down just in the opening salvo? Fuck. All right, Medusa. I think I called him Darius again. Shit, I've been doing that a lot tonight. <laughs> I haven't done that any other stream, but I've totally got Darius on the brain. It's all right, Medusa's cooler. He didn't leave us for, you know... Ooh, you know... Oh, uh... Yeah, we can't hit the Thunderbolt the way I would like. So... All right, Waiting I think what we're going to do here. All right, let's advance with the Marauder. And with any luck whatsoever, so I've, if I do 100 damage that way, we'd be fine. Or now the AC5 can't do it, so I'd have to shoot you with two PPCs and hope to get it, right? Is 45, uh, 46. No, it has 51. Uh, yeah, 51. So even one PPC shot wouldn't do it. I need to have slight, either I need to have slightly better PPCs or, uh, all right, fine. How much damage can that take? 70? Let's go with that but let's shoot it with only one PPC and let's see if we can take out the other leg. Uh -huh. Perfect, good. That works. One Jenner taken out, nice and easy. Gotcha. Okay, so that worked. Which is good, they can't use the Jenner to target all of our bullshit. Now I can think a little strategically about how I want to use Ice Tray and Renegade here. What I'm actually kind of inclined to do is have Renegade, since he's in a Highlander, that can jump around and be a little maneuverable. I think what I'm going to have the Highlander do is come over here because there are going to be a couple of mechs that show up here and they're going to try to shoot at this. And I want to make sure that I can deal with them and then come back and deal with all this shit. And with the gauze rifle and the LRM, I should still be able to shoot at stuff over here. And what I think I'm going to have Glitch do is come over here with multi-shot and get the attention of things that are over here. And Ice Tray is going to come up in here and multi-target uh, multi pretty much anything in here and try to just gobble up tension. Hopefully stay in the woods and essentially tank. But yeah, that leaves something to deal with over here and I think that's gonna be Renegade. So unfortunately that's this, but that's okay. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just come over here and I'll just shoot at these things because I'll probably miss, but I'll hit that. And then because I shot at it, they'll be shooting at turrets of us instead of the fuel tanks. Because for the most part, if you shoot at the enemy mechs, at that point, then they engage you. If you if you ignore them, they um, that's when they go after. That's when they go after the fuel tanks. Perfect. All right. Well, we hit it a couple of times, so the enforcer will not go after the dropships now. The enforcer will come after us. Same with the thunderbolt. We're good there now. Yeah, the Battlemaster is the real problem here. They got, they're sending in a fucking assault mech. Scary shit, man. Yes, Commander. All right. You, I think, will just sprint up here. So we need you up here as quickly as possible. And with those kind of evasion numbers, I'm really not doing a whole lot with that LRM-20. I'll save that for next turn. I'd rather just reposition you this turn. Oh, I could have reserved and hoped the turrets would go first. Well, that's all right. The turrets didn't hit the Battlemaster, but they tried. All right, we're whittling down the evasion pips on the Enforcer. Cool. Shepard 1 is incoming. Full burn approach. Destination Pad Alpha. Here it comes. Yep. And we got enemy flankers incoming. Engage them before they take out our dropships. And they're, it's a spider and something else. Concentrate all 
fire on those dropships. Take them out, or you'll have Ostergaard to answer to. And of course, the Trojans are such hypocrites. It's not like a power down and surrender or we shoot you. It's fuck it. Try and shoot them as soon as possible. <laughs> The game did a really nice job of making the Torians absolutely loathsomely despicable. I I'm just going to hope that I can get all my turrets to go before they do. But yeah, as you can see, we're vastly outnumbered. <laughs> we are vastly outnumbered, like by a bonkers amount. Uh, yeah, I can't go there because the dropship, if the dropship lands, it'll crush you there. So that's super awesome. But I could at least shoot these fuckers here. I think this is going to be fine. Let's go with that. Problem is, I don't... Yeah, I'm kind of having some buyer's remorse about uh, doing the um, master tactician. Yeah, it's nice to aim first, but I could have shot this with the gauze rifle and that with the LRM-15 and I would have been fine otherwise. That's all right. Uh, oof. God, really? That is terrible. Well... Let's go for it anyway. At least something will hit. And maybe we'll get the other thing with uh, some stray fire. We get a stray shot. Damn, didn't even get a stray shot. But our morale is so high. We're getting that resolve back before next turn anyway. And now that we've fired at the spider, it's not going to fire the dropships. Now I can shoot the other thing and we'll, we'll be good. At that point, I can just take them out. I think it's only those two over there to worry about. Thankfully. <sighs> yeah, this Thunderbolt. That's a lot of a fucking evasion, man. Let's reserve. Let's Got see it. if maybe the allied turn, they could whittle down some of the evasion on our Torian units. Line up shots for us a little easier. So one of the mods for this game, Battletech Advanced, I think in that... Evasion pips don't erode based on fire. So if you got something running fast, it's always difficult to hit. I don't know if I like that because, um, as you noticed, if you take the time to actually focus fire on a mech, essentially it's all of you training fire on it. I, I feel like that helps you hit something. Yeah, see, now we're done if we shoot. What can I do for you? All right, well, okay, well, shit. Wow. All right, well, I may only have an opportunity to shoot that thing. Shit. Yeah, I am going into cover. Uh, <laughs> I am not going to get stuck out here without any cover. So fine, we'll just go up you here. Betcha. And what I'll do is I'll just take a pot shot at that thing. Maybe we'll get a lucky shot at it. I'm not shooting at with any kind of ammo. I'm saving my ammo. But we'll take a one out of fucking five shot to even hit the spider. Why not? Tell me what to shoot. Yeah. No shot. Hey, stay in the crosshair. Would have been nice if it would hit though. Okay. Ready to see. get it on. You. Alright. Well. Let's see. Jesus. You're just going to be terrible. Well, I that's copy. the position I want you in. Okay. Pretty much I can only shoot you with LRMs no matter what I do here. Well, except for the Thunderbolt. At least then I've got a good, decent shot with the lasers. Okay. So no, no, no. Just shoot... The Thunderbolt with three lasers and see what happens. Engaging with target. Would have been nice if I'd hit either one of those, or at least gotten a stray shot. But no, no stray shot. Okay. We're whittling down evasion here. Orders. So you are gonna show up here. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's the advantage of the archer. I could just show up here. 
and be able to engage pretty much anything within any of this area. So yeah, we're going to fire at that Battlemaster. Now let's do some damage to the Battlemaster. Let's at least strip off some of its armor. Good, good, good. Good, we got a stray shot. Perfect. Eh, head hit, whatever. So far, we're doing a pretty good job of engaging the Torians. Next turn, Renegade will have no problem attacking the other battle mech. Okay, here's the uh, here's the issue: is all these uh, drop ships are coming in, and you can even see the Torians just dropped off <laughs> two mechs over here: a Jenner and a uh, Panther. <laughs> That's why I needed Glitch to be over here as soon as possible, so that she could shoot those two once they show up. Shepard one has arrived. Good deal. Yep. Oh, and uh, thankfully the game does tell you if you didn't kind of see it in the background. More hostiles incoming. Keep their focus on you and away from those dropships. <laughs> for honor, for liberty, and for the Torian conquered it. I do actually kind of appreciate the sheer. I take no pleasure in this, Lady Arano, but we're under orders. End this by surrendering to Commodore Ostergaard. Until you do, your people will suffer for you. Like they're such d bags. You got nothing, you hear me? Yeah, the Torians, they have zero shame. Zero. <laughs> You have to keep those hostiles engaged. Keep the pressure on and don't let them focus on the Fuhrer. Yeah, thank you, Kamea. I know that. I'm I'm trying. I couldn't shoot the commando last turn. I tried. <laughs> All right. Standing so by. The question is, what do I shoot at? I'm actually inclined. Now, I could shoot at the commando, actually. I could really fuck up that commando. Uh, Actually, I could really fuck up that commando. You know what? We're gonna really fuck up this commando. Yeah, fuck it. Let's fuck up the commando. That's a lot of ordnance that just went into that commando. Reporting critical hit. All right, we've got Pad Alpha pretty much under control now. I just have to destroy those two light mechs as quickly as possible. Yeah. And because we shot at the spider, it's shooting at the turret instead. Uh, yeah, we got to jump. Oh, can't. Can't actually target. Damn it. Yeah, I can't. Uh, cannot target that fucker with... Oh, that's so annoying. All right, fine. This kind of sucks. This is where not having multi-shot really comes back to bite me in the ass. All right, well, if I ever have to do another playthrough, I won't make that mistake again. I actually thought multi uh, Master Tactician was going to be the better option just by the virtue of the fact that usually I'm kind of precise shotting with the with Renegade or with my primary mech warrior to try to maximize firepower of that mech. But yeah, uh, on missions like this, I really, really miss multi-target. Good. Go after that Battlemaster. This will be the last turn that I really have to waste not putting full ordnance. Yeah, there is that vehicle. You know what? The vehicles did their job. They, they took a lot of fire for me that I didn't have to take while I positioned myself. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, so yeah, we've got to do this. Uh, Jesus. Oh, all right. I think I'm going to have to do this. Yeah, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious me. Okay, let's, uh... <sighs> all right, what I think I'm going to do here... So I'm not, I'm not hitting this Enforcer anyway. So, 
let's uh -huh. let's roll the Look dice that, guys. Let's roll the dice on this thing let's try and take out its head yeah let's just go for it come on big money big money Although at that rate, I should have just gone for the center torso. Yeah, we only hit it once. Damn, that sucks. That did not work in my favor. I have a feeling I'm going to need, need it, will have needed that heat too. I should have just tried to go up to the woods that are on top of the plateau. Live and learn. Receiving you. Live and learn, Seraph. Okay. Let's, uh... Yep. On the move. Because even if this misses, I should hit that Thunderbolt with a stray shot. Emphasis on the should. Perfect. Yep. Fire. Engaging target. Wow, we hit both. All right. Okay, really fucked up the battle master. Hey, Pokey player, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good, we knocked down the Jenner. <laughs> you have arrived at an interesting time as uh, shit has gotten real, so to speak, as we're defending Smithen from the uh, Torians. Yeah, that enforcer, it just has way too much evasion. Yeah, next turn, Glitch definitely needs to fire at whatever mechs show up over on the left. Yep. Shepard 2 has arrived. We need to make sure that doesn't get blown up. Perfect. Shepard 1's payload is secure and preparing for launch. Whew. Oh, frickin' fire starter. That took a lot of damage. I didn't realize we didn't shoot the fire starter. Oh, really? I'm surprised the spider abandoned it. But I shot the commando, so hopefully it's going after me instead. Yeah, that's this is going to be a problem because they could do a lot of damage to that fuel reserve uh, reserve really quickly. Oh, come on. This is the other brutal part. They just show up and you really don't even get a, a good chance to kind of counteract them. So... I have an interesting question here. Could just go for that panther. Yeah, we're going to go for the panther here, I think. That way Glitch doesn't have to completely go for broke here. We're gonna go for that panther. Attacking from position. Hope that we could do some serious damage to it. All right, we unsteadied it. Yeah, unfortunately, but my God, <laughs> it gets so bonkers. <laughs> this shit is just so chaotic and crazy. <laughs> Ugh. Well, so much for that turret. Okay, I've had quite enough of these assholes. Question is, what do I destroy here? <laughs> I mean, that's really what it comes down to is, uh, let's pick what we kill. And I'm actually inclined to go after, you know what? Let's, let's not even mess around. No. I've had quite enough of you. Let's just deal with, let's just make that spider, let's just delete the spider entirely. Hey, Kara, what's going on, buddy? 
<laughs> that's those more titties, that's right. <laughs> oh no, come on. I mean, we're, uh... I hear ya. This is getting a little brutal here. Uh, alright, so I need to be over here. Alright, I need to shoot you and you, and I think you, just to get this, just to keep this under control here. Don't need to tell me twice. But with the heat situation, that's gonna be a problem. So, yeah. Yeah, that is what I was worried about. Okay. So, okay, we might be able to pull this off. So you... You, oh, we actually, you know what? We shot at you, so we don't need, we don't need that. We just need, nope, him. Multi-target, a Jenner, you. Okay. This should be all right. Perfect. We'll get, it. we'll get you at least. And then I'll worry about the Jenner in a second. Just keep Line the fire. Up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Well, it's all right. We didn't hit it, but we shot at it. And that should be enough. Gotcha. Well, thank you, Kara, for dropping by. Always, uh, always nice to see you. Oh, I thank you. I'll catch you on your next stream. Well, at least the turrets are fucking up the Battlemasters. Or the, ba the turrets are helping fucking up the Battlemaster. Come on, sniper turret. Yes, the sniper turret lives to see another day. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Okay, so... Here's... Here's how I think we're going to do this. I think... Wow, this is lame, lame, lame. Acknowledged. But even with the low percentage, I think what we have to do is we have to shoot at you. Have to shoot at you. We're not going to shoot all that. Uh, but we will target you with the last bit. So no use... To, no autocannon 20. That's that's sad. And that's okay. Yep. All right. For now, this will do. I copy. And as they get closer, we can punch something with the Atlas and reduce its heat. Do a little bit more damage with that Battlemaster. Well, it's all right. At least the fire starter won't shoot the fuel tank anymore. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel, I stray. <laughs> Come on, turrets. Do some good here. All right. So we got one dropship away. And now we got the last to arrive here. Shepard one is away. Good. Now we just have this one other mech over here. Shepard two here. We've got a hold full of civvies and we're prepping for launch. We just got to keep these fuel reserves from going up like the 4th of July. Ah, uh, yeah, they're starting to whittle down my turrets now. But we've done some damage to them. Oh, uh, yeah, I was worried about that Jenner. Oh, God damn it. Protect the others or the rest of the refugees are as good as dead. Damn it. It's stupid Jenner. I actually thought I attacked it. Fuck. Fuck, that pisses me off so much. Ah, you bastards. And they injured Medusa. Really, Commando? You're gonna attack me? You're dead next turn. But okay. We lost one dropship, but we still, we could still win this if we, if as long as we don't let another one go. Unfortunately, I'm overheating, so I have to just run up and smash this uh, fire starter. Putting my weight into it. Really no other choice I have there. Solid Gotta cool off. On that one. Those fire starters are devastating that way, especially in desert environments. All right. Good grief, man. Good to go. Fucking Panther. All right. Um 
Yeah, let's... Wow, that Jenner overheated to do all that damage. Fucker. Can't believe it destroyed that dropship. That really sucks, man. Well, at least we can... I mean, at this point, we don't need to actually... We don't need to even need to distract them anymore. We just need to keep them away from this one. Jeez, man. Uh, actually, that being the case... Oh, I moved already. Crap. Seraph. Damn. All right. Well, that being the case, let's... Damn. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh. All right. Let's just try. Yeah, it was worth a try. Really couldn't do much. I tried to destroy a mech there. Really not having the finest showing at this, uh, at this point. My, my mech warrior not having a, uh, multi-target actually really came back to bite me here. So I had to have somebody help me over here instead of shooting at the things over there. Enemy mech destroyed. Ticks me off I missed the Jenner too. If I had multi-targeted just one medium laser at it, it wouldn't have shot the fuel tank. Still have one more dropship though. That turret's destroyed, yeah. We've at least done some damage to the Torians that have shown up. So at least we've got What's that up, going for us. Yeah, just go and smash the prior starter. We got it. We got to smash this thing. We got to cool off. Good. We at least knocked it over. Come on. There we go. All right. Destroyed its right torso and knocked it down and destroyed a leg. Good grief. Shepard 3 has arrived. Just gotta make sure nothing shows up to destroy its uh, fuel tank here. That bums me out that we didn't get that one though, man. Ugh. <laughs> it overheated so much even after not doing anything, its torso blew up. God damn. That fucking Panther. That's the only problem with having a very heavy lance. The enemy almost always gets a good uh, initiative Standing by. to do shit against you. Wow, this is, uh, this sucks. Fine. Freaking heat, man. There we go. That's enough out of that thing. Hostile eliminated. Okay. So Glitch has got to draw its fire, and then Renegade has to destroy some of those mechs over there. Minimum damage. This guy's nothing. Good. All right. Waiting on you, Commander. All right. Uh. Good, okay, so we can do that. Perfect. On my way. And the heat situation on this mech is terrible, though. Okay, so... Just out of curiosity, what can I even shoot on this guy? So, no for the PPCs. Alright, but I got an AC-5 and two medium lasers. So... Okay, a medium laser can hit you. Alright, perfect. A, B, and C. And I guess it doesn't really matter. All right. Well, we'll take that. Let's do it. Got Let's it. at least keep these guys occupied. Stupid Jenner. Wow, that Jenner is almost going to get destroyed. All right, but hey, better shooting at me than the fuel tank here, at least for the moment. Oh, took a hard hit there. No problem.
problem. All right. Let's see. What could I do here? All right. That's a safe place to go. All right. Let's go up here and see if I can destroy something outright from up here. I think that's the way to go here. Wow. Not really. All these are really, really bad shots. Yeah, I'm kind of inclined to go for the Enforcer here. Let's go for the Enforcer. Maybe I could take it out with some LRM fire if the Gauze Rifle doesn't hit. Yeah, no dice. Alright, it was worth the shot though. We've got so much morale. I feel like I, I stand by that decision. You know... I might just shoot that fuel tank just to destroy the frickin' uh, Battlemaster. Orders. Hmm. And you know what? I think we already shot at these. We did shoot. Yeah, glitch shot at those. That moved over there. So I think as long as I go here and shoot these, I don't like the idea of showing my back to that enforcer. But think I could get away with it just this once or would do that so at least I don't yeah you know I'll do that so at least my back is into the enforcer my back is to those and hopefully they should be shooting at the archer instead uh yeah let's do it aye aye yep go with that same thing. Can't really do that, but we will go with this. Okay. Acknowledged. Keep shooting the Battlemaster. At least keep it. Make sure it doesn't forget about us. Some damage. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks for the head injury there. All right. We have the last of the refugees. Buy us another few minutes and we'll get out of here. Cool. Really sucks that that Jenner got the other dropship, man. Ugh, that makes me sick. What is shooting at that? The Panther? I feel like, didn't I shoot at the Panther? Oh, maybe I didn't shoot at the Panther. Crap. They're getting the angle on me. All right, yeah, you got a back shot. I knew that might happen. Damn it, I've got an armor breach. Just Don't worry. Go right here. And yeah, let's, uh, hmm. Wow. That's... Do I end the Jenner? <laughs> I think that effectively would end the Jenner, but I really, I feel like that's a waste of my firepower at this point. Let's, uh, let's have glitch shoot at that. I feel like glitch shooting at that would be the better better strategy here let's have the archer move back let's have you shoot the center torso of the thunderbolt try and get into this that okay. there we go come on ah i was hoping for an lrm explosion but in a way that kind of works for me means you've already gone it's a heavy hit but I could take it nice try okay what can I do for you uh multi-target no let's let's move don't like the idea of being here but we can do that you man one good shot and you are toast can't shoot the PPC or I'll eat a... Oh, no, I can shoot the PPC. Okay. So let's go with you and C and C on you. Let's go for that. And let's hope that PPC takes out the Jenner. Let's go for it. Uh -huh. My buddy. There we go. All right. 
unfortunately glitch mostly just kind of occupying them not really being able to use her like mech that all that usefully toast. but that's that's okay jump yeah really have a hard time really having a hard time getting over this way all right you know what let's just go over here we'll jump and we'll take out the battle master Depending on how damaged its Battlemaster is. Oh. Yeah, the Battlemaster is fucked. Let's just kill the Battlemaster. I'm not even wasting the precise shot on it. Alright. Now we've taken out half of the fucking company here. <laughs> The Thunderbolt is fucking next. And then without the Thunderbolt and the Battlemaster, the Torian company has lost most of its offensive punch. Yeah, I think, uh, uh, no, we'll go here, I think. Uh, actually, you know what? I might just go and punch the damn thing, but no, I think we'll go right here. I'll get you on the move. We're going to go right here. And goodbye, you asshole. That's enough out of this Thunderbolt. Cool. Next turn, the dropship will get away. I can punch kill. the Enforcer with the Marauder. Good. Shepard 3 is away. Now we just have to finish off the Torians that are here. Sucks that the pain. It really does suck that they got that job ship. Ugh. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. Not a perfect showing, but we managed to kind of recover and get this cleaned up. And at least we made that Jenner really pay for it. Armor breach. Internal damage. Oof. Yeah, bad. A bad breach, too. All right. Well. Let's, uh. Let's go here. Expose the right torso. As opposed to the left. Granted, a little dicey because I'm showing my back, but still better than the alternative here mess around. Screw that. Yep, let's just tunnel Copy through its that. torso. Make sure we destroy this Jenner. Oh, we didn't destroy the Jenner. Oh my god. Scored a critical hit. Shit. Bad luck there. We really should have killed the Jenner there. Waste of a precise shot. Systems holding. Glitch. Good to go. Punch the Enforcer. Finally, we can cool toe, off. Toe to toe. Good deal. Did some good damage to it. Finally, we're back into the fray here. Actually, not sure which one I want to really kind of go for here. I think the Enforcer. The Enforcer is by far the more dangerous opponent left. And it no longer has an AC. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> I wasn't even going for necessarily destroying it, but I figured I could at least get rid of its AC 10, which was by far its most dangerous uh, Location confirmed. weapon. Yeah, okay. You know what? Yeah, let's just shoot you with those. See what happens. Locked on. We'll take it. Critical hit. Solid connection on that one. Panther will die next turn. And this panther really was a thorn in my side the whole time. Minimal damage 
on that hit. I fucked up not getting over here fast enough to target them quicker. Commander. That was, uh... That was sort of my mistake. On my way. Well, I made a couple of mistakes in this, but that's all right. We got out of it. We we passed the mission. wasn't wasn't great, but it's over. It's over. This time we'll just walk. <laughs> His jump jets generate a lot of that heat. We're not fucking around. Let's just end this panther. Enemy mech destroyed. That's the last of them. Good job, Commander. If it wasn't for your lance, all of those refugees would have died here today. Your mercenaries fought well, Lady Arano, but know that this has only just begun. None of us can return home until you have been captured or killed. And for every Torian mech that you destroy, ten more will rise to take its place. Yeah, these guys have like a total hate boner for her. And we will defeat them, Commander, just as we defeated you. <laughs> Mission successful. Not exactly a uh, great smack talk there from her, but that's fine. Yeah, successful mission, but still, I wish I'd been able to save all three. I usually do save all three. It's it's really not that big a deal, but again, I day one not having. You know, the primary mech warrior have multi-target. Uh, multi um, I'm regretting, uh, I'm regretting not doing that. So. It's all right, it's all right. And yeah, we'll take the Battlemaster salvage. Uh, I don't think there's any, oh, well, we'll take that, sure. Any good machine gun salvage? No, not really. Yeah, not really all that great stuff here. I guess we'll take the plus PPC. Maybe I'll take the plus laser, but I don't think so. I think I'm inclined to take, uh, I'm inclined to take the Thunderbolt Salvage and call it a day. That's all right. We got, sal we did, we did really good salvage before. Oof. Yeah, the Smithin missions, they're always a little, uh, they're always a little interesting. The, the, the Invasion Smithin is way worse than that is but even that i mean like you you click you guys saw it's there's a lot going on <laughs> they send 10 mechs at you uh and even with the turrets the turrets just aren't very effective they really just are good for target practice for the torians you've done it renegade you faced off against the torian war machine and forced it into retreat and if they can be driven out of one system they can be driven from another your actions today have restored hope to the Oregon people renegade know that Believe it. Yeah. Commander Marcus McDougal, beacon of hope. Has a nice ring to it, I've got to say. Laugh all you like, Renegade. To my people, this is serious. You're a hero in their eyes, and they can see you fighting on their behalf. That means something. And to those in Ostergaard's crosshairs, it means everything. I hope that you're ready to pay for more of our brand of heroism in the near future, Lady Urano. We didn't destroy the Torians, we only inconvenienced them, and Darius is right here. They attacked Smithen to get to you. There's nothing stopping them from do it, doing it again somewhere else. And we'll be ready when we do. Me on the comms and you on the battlefield. Together we will do whatever we must to defend the restoration. Uh, yes we will, and this company will be with you to the end. Know it, Renegade, and you will know my appreciation when our campaign is done. Lady Arano, we're receiving an encoded hyperpulse transmission. Must be a message from Lady Centrella. Hang on a second, I'll put it on screen. Come here, I have news for you. Both good and bad. We'll start with the good. My agents have established contact, contact with a member of House Gallus, the ruling family of Itram. They served Espinosa in the early days of the Directorate, but have since fallen into disfavor. Lady Gallus claims to have information that would prove extremely damaging to your uncle. The position her family once held in the Directorate's power structure gives her words weight. Her house's downfall gives her motive. And now the bad news. Lady Gallus has been taken prisoner by the Directorate's occupation force. They have her locked away in her own castle, a gilded cage for imprisoned royalty. We can't reach her again without liberating the system. 
we'd get her killed if we tried. So there you have it. A path forward. Regrettably, it won't be an easy one, and the Torians will hound you every step of the way. But then, you do have a way of defying my expectations. You always have. Best of luck to you, Lady Arano. I wish you success in the battle ahead. <coughs> well, there you have it, Renegade. We know where we have to go next, Itram, right in the heart of the Directorate. To say that their defenses will be formidable is an understatement, and Ostergaard will go on hounding us every step of the way. Are you sure that your people are ready for this? Either way, we'll handle it. And if Ostergaard wants a place on my kill list, I'm happy to accommodate him. I love that smack talk. Damn right, we'll send Ostergaard and Espinosa to hell side by side. Let's get to it, everyone. Back to your stations. We've got a job to do. That mech you wanted is back online. Ah, we piece together a fire starter. Yeah, that fire starter really uh, kind of screwed things up for us. Commander. So we'll give you some XP. Good, yep. You've Training called shot board. bonus now. We'll go with that. I don't think anybody else... Well, we'll go with that. Sure. Upgrade the base Training weapon hit. Commander. He's going to be in there for a while. Anybody else? I hear ya. Okay, Ready so there's order. that. All right. So mech bay is, let's go in here. The archer needs to be repaired. I don't think it's, yeah, it's going to take all of one day. Fire starter, we'll send a storage. Go in here, we'll sell the fire starter. We're selling that. We need money. We always need money. Let's see, if there, is there anything good to actually buy? I don't think so. Eh, we got some plus weaponry here. That's actually not bad. Not great. It's not bad. The LB-20X is basically an autocannon shotgun. It's it's pretty cool, but no, there's, no, there's nothing all that fantastic about this. I just want to see something. Um, mech bay. Now we should get the gamma pod. I do want to see something here. Did I? Yeah, I did not. I did not uh, install the targeting computer in the... Uh... Oh, no, the archer is one. Uh, right, I can't see it. All right, well, we'll wait. Let's see, is there any good, are there any good contracts here? Stubborn Surrender. Yeah, we could just do that and uh, destroy some mechs here just to get a little extra dealt with. Uh, we could destroy a Torian factory that they built on Smithen. Um, yeah, we don't have a priority mission, so we may as well high tide. Let's see. Ooh, an attack and defend on the polar region. So we could do, we could do, we haven't done any attack and defends yet. We could actually do this. We could just wait and do, and do a nice attack and defend mission. This could be fun. <clears throat> Let's. I like the idea of, uh, Stubborn Surrender here. Let's do that first. Let's do that real quick and then we'll figure out whether or not... Let's wait for that archer to get repaired. That Good. You submitted is complete. Right. Ship upgrades. Let's buy the habitat pod. So we're going to need that All right. I'll get the team on it in order right to get anything else. And now we're reasonable, but now we need money. Um, yeah, we'll just do this. We'll have a nice little chill. Do a couple of missions here while we wait for the next priority mission to drop. We'll do a stubborn surrender. This works. Jeez. Really? You guys are going to give me that little salvage? Eh, fuck it. You're going to give me half a million sea bills? We'll take that. We just can't bring Medusa with us. So instead, we'll bring Behemoth in the Archer. We'll go with that. This works. That works. Uh, yes. Deploy. We'll have ourselves a nice little battle. <clears throat> and the nice part is anything that shows up will already be pre-damaged. Yeah, don't underestimate these old timers, but fortunately we can expect poorly maintained max. Poorly maintained max. Uh, finish them quickly. I'm starting to clear my throat a little bit, so I'm going to get rid of this frog in my throat. I'm just going to grab some water real quick. I will be right back.
Much better. Now my voice doesn't sound like it's gravel. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Command interface. Yeah, I like the idea of doing the attack and defend mission too. We'll get some mid we'll get some uh sea bills for that and I can show you guys how that goes. Those are always interesting. Oh, I love the night missions and you can see the uh the headlamps on the battle max on. Looks like we found our targets, Commander. Move forward and clear them out. Be careful, these mechs might be old and poorly maintained, but they can still kill you. Yep. And usually these end up being veteran mechs. Let's jump. Roger. Which can go up this far. Wow. Uh, shit. Sensors really? have something. I didn't think uh, that would happen. Okay. Well, fine. Fair enough. Archer can go into cover. And we will begin. <laughs> well, this skirmish didn't take long. Let's begin this action. We got more action on Smithen. <clears throat> I forget what the actual terms are. Because you've obviously got, you know, uh general term for a battle but you also like generally speaking anytime there's like you know two combatants fighting it's not necessarily a battle i think that's called an action um when you've got the opening stages uh, or any time you know enemies will like shoot at each other that would be that would be enemy action oh yeah see this is this is this is dumb they should never have your missile boat a catapult leading the way. This is asinine. <laughs> this is just, this is just stupid. This is, this is stupid. Firing everything I've got. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have fired that PPC at it, but whatever. Let's jump. Yeah, we'll... Although, if I could hit... Yeah, you know what? I may as well just do that. Shit. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Side. Uh, quick draw. Ah, fucking rifleman. All right. Let's precise shot the catapult. Let's try to destroy this thing. That's a lot that just hit the center torso. Come on. Ah. We did some severe damage to it, though. We tried. Yes, Commander. <laughs> Good to go. We tried. Yeah, we gotta go for cover here. Move order received. I actually think it might be four on three here, and they're damaged, and our mechs are better. They really don't stand much of a chance. Engaging. Oof. There we go. Goodbye, catapult. Fucker never even got to shoot. One left target. <clears throat> Rifleman will be my next target. So that thing's got armor of like paper. Aye aye. Granted, right, in target lore, required. in lore, rifle the rifleman is kind of better than it performs either in games or on tabletop. Because in lore, a rifleman is really more of an is really more of like an aerotech defense mech. It really, it's its much more about air defense than, uh, and fire support. You really want to kind of stationed up far out of the fray and be shooting either, especially in this one. It's got pretty good long range AC5s. Granted, AC2s are really good range. But, uh, but I remember, I remember the, the rifleman's kind of role being more along the lines of, um, you really want it to be far away, and it's supposed to be shooting at things that are like, like Aerotech fighters. It's a shame that Aerotech didn't have more of a role in a lot of Battletech campaigns. And it's a shame they didn't have much of a role here in this game either. Because Aerotech fighters are a lot of fun. Actually, Phoenix Nate, who shows up in the channel a lot, he almost exclusively play, played pilots. 
it was it was fun. Granted, I think he only had one out of every four or five turns, but when he showed up, holy shit. <laughs> oh boy. Things things died a lot. <laughs> Yeah, let's just shoot at the rifleman. Yep, this rifleman I think is gonna die here. Wow, it did not. I'm kind of surprised. How many fucking hit points does the rifleman still have? Yeah, just, all it did was move, cause... Oh, two! Fucking two! Fucking two! God damn it! <laughs> oh my god. That is fucking hilarious, man. Oh my god. Hey, Ziltoid, what do you think about that? Engaging jump jets. Oh, so lame. <laughs> damn it. Oh, whatever. Yeah, just shoot at the damn thing. Engaging target. All I have to do is do two points of damage to the center torso. It's, yep, it's gone. wasn't really really that concerned Ready but it was still it pretty <laughs> still pretty lame <laughs> uh we'll just move and we'll guard and we'll just cool off perfect yeah now what are you gonna do quick draw oh you're gonna melee attack me actually you might blow through armor with okay it's like that's just spiteful. Damage minimal. Yeah, uh, let's just we're just gonna jump behind you. Not really? Can't get uh Okay. Engaging jump jets. Whatever. Not that matters. Yeah, don't bother with the armor. <laughs> we'll shoot the army in later, though. Targeting right in the back. That is the main advantage of the Highlander. The fact that I could just jump, go right into something's back, avoid Enemy cover entirely. Destroyed. Oh, there was a, another mech out there. Man, you were really out of uh, the fray. <laughs> Where is that map? What's up, boss? I don't even see it. Oh, you're all the way over there. All right, well, now let's shoot at you. Thankfully, I don't have my back towards it. Oh, no, I do have my back towards it. I need to go. Huh. Next. <laughs> I need to go first. <laughs> I'm in Copy danger. That. Even taking half damage here. Look at that. Man, you are really spread apart from your friends there, buddy. What can I do for you? Alright, you know what? Let's uh Let's go for one of Seraph's trademark bullshit. You shouldn't do this, but you're gonna do it anyway because I'm a fucking lunatic. <laughs> let's go for a breaching headshot. Tell me what to shoot. Boom. Did you see <laughs> It doesn't work very often, but when it does, it really pays off. <laughs> nice, easy half million sea bills. And we just got uh, a bunch of Thunderbolt Savage because we got it in a headshot. We'll probably just do that unless I see something really valuable. Maybe that SRM2 plus four damage. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Really can't complain there. But now let's go with the Thunderbolt and complete that. Yeah, we got to go with that. You got to go with that. I'll always have an opportunity to buy an SRM2. And the odds of me actually installing an SRM2 are extremely um, unlikely. 
there are some mech builds where it makes sense. And what it really makes sense is, depending on what tabletop rules, ah, there it is. We can now liberate House Gallus. So we'll probably, we might, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we do. I might just, I definitely want to do this attack and defend. And we might just do the House Gallus one tonight. I mean, why wait? Store that battle mech, we'll sell it. Get some of our money back. We'll have some fun with the attack and defend. Although depending on what time it is, let's see, it's, oh, it's almost 11. Wow. Uh, did I get started late? No, no, that's true. When you start at eight, you know, you're, you're going to go for 11. Although I'm not really all that tired. So, but we'll do the attack and defend and then we'll see how I feel. Most likely, most likely I do the attack and defend and that will be the end. Wait, oh, high tide. Yep. Attack and defend. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably end on this, but, but we'll see how I feel. Commander, we need your assistance in fending off an attack on one of our facilities. This base is a critical logistical center for us, primarily for food and medicine. If we lose it, our forces in the region will be hamstrung. A major directorate strike force is deployed to the region, and we've just gotten word that they've seized an auxiliary base near the logistics facility and are using it as a staging point for a further assault. We need you to level that auxiliary base and cut off their offensive. One of the real reasons I like doing these other like intermediate missions in between the priority missions is to me, this really does make it feel like you're in an actual war where the two like the two sides are in this case, the one side, the Arana restoration, uh, keep paying me to keep, you know, helping out the war effort because this kind of stuff happens in war. These are very large scale conflicts where especially logistics matters like this, that makes the difference between victory and defeat. And these missions can get completely fucking bonkers. Uh, like, I mean, this shit gets crazy. If you don't destroy the base fast enough, they just keep dropping reinforcements. We could easily see like 20 mechs on this battlefield if we don't take out that base fast enough. So... And that that's happened before. Uh, <laughs> now I'm going to try and make sure that doesn't happen because I don't want to be here all fucking night. Because if that's if that goes down, it means this match took forever. <laughs> so for the sake of brevity and getting paid, we're going to try and take out the, the base because you can only get so much salvage anyway. But still. If we were, you know, going for like trying to make a, you know, break a record for mech kills or something. This is the type of thing where you would kind of be able to do that. So anyway, a major force sounds like a whole lot of metal on the field and there will be. Expect a long slog, Commander, and maybe pack lasers instead of auto cannons. Yes, because you, you might run out of you, like running out of ammo Command on these kind of missions initiated. is a legit possibility. We're entering the AO boss and my board just lit up like a Christmas tree. There's a whole lot of hostiles down there, folks. Eklage Meyer. Commander, I'm guessing the attack on the logistical base is already underway. We need to get down there and intercept their vanguard. They'll keep coming for our employer's facility. The only way to stop the directorate attack is to destroy the base they're staging from. We got friendly turrets covering the base, but those will only delay, not stop the assault. Stopping it is our job. Once the base is destroyed, Commander, You'll be free to evac or clean up the stragglers. Your call. I'll meet you here, Commander, and make the pickup. Don't keep me waiting. All right. So in this particular case, what we're going to do uh, is, yeah, we need to get down there fast. And being able to destroy enemy mechs is absolutely critical. But yeah, you can even see right over here, like destroy reinforcement wave one. They arrive in nine rounds. They do not fuck around. In nine rounds, you get a reinforcement wave. Four rounds later, you get another wave. Three rounds later, you get yet another wave. And you already have director and attackers showing up. Uh, and we have to keep all these friendly structures standing. So, yeah, this, this shit is fucking crazy. So yeah, we're going to send the Atlas out no this problem. way. way. We're going to send the Marauder. 
Yeah, we're going to send the Marauder out this way. The Archer, on the other hand, what we're going to do is we're going to send the Archer up here. We've got an unknown on sensor. And the Archer's going to stay around here because hopefully the Archer with its LRMs will still be able to fire at things I'm engaged at, but the Archer should be able to stay by the base so that if something else shows up or gets through, the Archer can deal with anything that you know, potentially threatens the base. Because if this base get, if this base gets destroyed, it's game over. We lose the mission. Fortunately, they have to go through this narrow pass, so that should create kind of nice bottleneck. We should be able to destroy anything that kind of gets through here and punch through to get to the other side. And then we don't really have all that far to get to this uh, facility here. The problem is the Atlas is slow as shit. And that's going to be a problem. That is going to be a big problem. Uh, God damn it. All right, fine. Glitch. I hear ya. All right, let's, uh, let's advance with Glitch. Let's see what we got. <laughs> it begins. Definitely have to deal with the attackers. Oh, fuck's sakes. Wow, that is terrible. That is a lot of evasion. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, let's go with that. And you know what? Just in case something hits in the right spot, you never know. I didn't think I would hit it, but it's okay. I was actually hoping to do to land something and do enough stability damage to maybe help things out with that. Behemoth. Now then, you, on the other hand, are going to go up here. And at least received. half of these missiles are going to hit. We should at least do some nice stability damage. Yeah. Fire in the trebuchet. Alright, we did some damage. Yeah, I might just jump here. Gracious. Stinks! Ugh. Yeah, more like 40%, but you know what? Let's just... Engaging jump jets. Yeah, that trebuchet is in just the right spot where it really can't get completely fucked up. But in a way, maybe it's just as well I'm not really launching that many attacks on it since... Ooh, thank you. I appreciate that. I wish I'd known you were going to do that. <laughs> Oh, well. All right, fine. Yeah, fire LRMs at it. It's okay, next turn they'll go again. Yeah, fire. Not terrible. Oh, huh, cool. Now the turrets can launch some missiles at it, do some damage. Perfect, good. We'll take that. Nice. Severe damage to that trebuchet. Yeah, that's the problem, is the enemy base could do the same to us. <laughs> and that sucks a lot. Okay, they're focusing on the Marauder. I should probably do Vigilance on the Marauder. We then advance. Yeah, this gets bonkers. <laughs> this gets just... This gets so out of control so fast. <laughs> okay. Let's jump. Yeah, let's do that. So at least we can see everything. I think I should try to take something out. Question, oh wow, all these guys did that, huh? You know what? No, just shoot you and see what happens. Perfect. Take it. Enemy mech destroyed. Waiting on you, Commander. No, actually, with all that, I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm definitely going to do Vigilance. We're just going to cruise up here. 
And since they're firing at me from that direction, I'll face the base. Thank goodness for this polar environment. Yeah, vigilance. Uh, that being the case, actually, let's multi-target. Yeah, let's just multi-target. B and C. Yep, we'll just shoot each of you with one. That way it's a breaching shot. I'll still generate some heat, but it's not a crazy alpha strike. No we'll just whittle down, whittle down their evasion a little bit. Perfect. Armor blow throughs all around. Love it. Standing by. Yeah, let's go up here. We'll perch ourselves right up here. Yeah, let's uh, let's go after that griffin. Since it's exposing its side to me. On it. Maybe we could destroy its leg. Perfect. Just like that. Solid connection on that one. Good. And then um, ice tray can finish it off. Oh. <laughs> Man, turret's not messing around. Cold shot head. Receiving you. Man, I love the uh, I love the aggression. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, can't really advance far Copy enough that. because Atlas is slow as balls to really get to within too much of it. But that's okay. Let's go for. Yeah, let's just go for the center course. So we'll at least make our lives easier for whoever does try to go for it. Maybe one of the turrets will finish it off. That would be nice. Or not. Or apparently not. Lich will definitely go before that one goes again. I could just have her go and uh, shoot at it. Yep, some of the enemy forces are hanging back at their base, presumably to defend it from us. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't turrets. Those were enemy mechs shooting at me. Ha! Send me a real opponent. What can I do for you? I think I'm going to do the same thing here. I think I'm going to actually do vigilance since they are kind of picking on her. I think that's the plan here. I'm just going to advance. Vigilance. And then we'll shoot you. But we will not shoot the PPC. I think we'll just shoot that AC-5 and two medium lasers. We'll cool off and I will probably destroy this griffin. Go. Yep. Good choice. Should have run when you had the chance. And then I will probably precise shot that griffin. Try and take out this fucker. Oh, good. You missed with the good weapon. <laughs> More validation that I did vigilance on the marauder. Since it's just doing nothing but taking all this fire. Man. They are really going after it. I haven't done enough to draw its draw fire away from anything else, unfortunately. Okay, well, I could go here and just completely nuke the uh, Griffin. I think maybe I should just do that. Let's do that. Let's nuke the Griffin. Goodbye. Let's see the Griffin surviving that. Perfect. Good. We've already destroyed three out of the four directorate attackers. We only have the Centurion left. Then we just have to get through the uh, defenders. <sighs> we got that reinforcement wave coming in six rounds. We are probably not going to... Uh, we are probably not going to prevent that first reinforcement wave from landing but we should be able to do it before the second wave hits. Yeah, let's let's make this Centurion absolutely hate its life. 
<laughs> Holy crap. Inflicted some heavy damage. Fortunately, once again, though, we, we got the Ready to kind of the off. wrong side of the, uh, damn. And every time I advance, the only thing I could shoot at are frickin' missiles. Unfortunately, we really have to get to the base fast. That's just how it goes. Well, we might still get lucky here. Engaging. Start. Come on, Ice Tray. Kill that Centurion. Strike nice. All right, the director and attackers are dead. Target eliminated. All right, so in that case, that was an efficient use of armament. We still have to get through the defenders. And we still have that base to deal with. And it's still going to take us a, at least a couple of rounds to deal with the base. Waiting for orders. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Sprint. We're just going to sprint. Because with that kind of evasion, really should be hard to hit. And she can spot for everybody else. Oh. Well, okay, just a locust and a, uh, well, the trebuchet is the bigger problem. Good. Okay. Waiting for orders. You're going to stay right there, because when the reinforcement wave shows up, I need it to yeah, fire at the trebuchet. The trebuchet is more dangerous, for sure. The locust is going to be annoying, but the trebuchet is what can hurt us. Yeah, yeah. Blow off an arm. Nope, you're right there. You're done. Oh, shit. That is, uh... That is a shitty fucking... Okay, good. Okay, most of that missed. <laughs> that archer variant can do a lot of damage. It doesn't have the range of the standard archer, but, uh... Because it's only got LRM-15s instead of the LRM-20s. But... It does more, essentially, DPS because of all the medium lasers and the SRM4s. Yeah, that thing is, that thing is, uh, that thing is a problem. <laughs> For lack of a better word. Uh, yeah, I really can't get to it. I'm going to have to hope that, uh, Glitch can get to that next time. All right, so you know what? I'll just jump here, and I'll just shoot at the trebuchet, and I'll hope to get it. Hmm. Let's see. Actually, I feel like I really should be able to get that. Yeah, let's just go for it. Engaging target. And of course, I was destroyed. Yep, perfect. All right. Glitch will do a precise shot on the archer next turn with the headshot. No. Shit, actually. I'm going to have him sprint so that he's closer. No shooting, just running. Yeah, you need to go. We're actually destroying some of their mechs ahead of schedule so we're better off moving fast to get to the try to get to that base faster oh and the turrets are firing at the locust they're not going to hit it but we'll take that bold strategy cotton let's see how it works out for you <laughs> i love the ambience of the polar environments Especially once I zoom in a little bit. I mean, obviously, this is still like a building-sized mech, even though it's a 20-ton light mech. I, the lighting in this particular environment at night, despite the fact that we're in a in a battle, like it really is kind of beautiful. Let's see. Okay, let's have Glitch move Good to first. Go. Yeah. Glitch, you need to move first. And Moving out. please, pretty please, take out that archer and do it fast. Come on, you can do it. Take this. Boom. Yes. Get fucked, archer. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Receiving you. So now Behemoth can attack. Jeez, I have my choice here.
Yeah, let's go with this guy. Taking the shot. I think I'll destroy the locust, to be honest. Yeah, I had a feeling. So I'd rather go after the less damaged one, or the more intact one, since I had a feeling I would destroy it anyway. Yes, we'll do that. Engaging jump, jump. jump? Actually, I think I might just laser you. I'm not going to fire those. We're just going to laser the ever-living shit out of you. Engaging I'll fire the SRMs. Good. Target. Okay. Enemy mech destroyed. Defenders are gone. All right, we have no more targets. More Sprint. Affirmative. Wow, we actually have an outside shot. I don't think we're going to do it because we still have to cross some terrain. We have an outside shot of getting Waiting on you, Commander. to the, uh, to the, yeah, we do. We're, we're here. <laughs> I read you, Commander. Moving out. All right, let's start wrecking this base. My God, can, can you imagine if we get this thing before that? Commander, we've got an enemy lance moving towards the restoration base. We do? Where? see it oh okay hostile drop zone yeah they're just letting me know the reinforcement wave is coming ah perfect and glitch will be right there to receive it Ooh, you know what i might just you know what i'm gonna bring ice tray back and we'll we'll just we'll mess yeah the atlas and the archer will be able to handle whatever shows up meantime yeah, let's let's just do this. Uh -huh. Let's try and do as much damage as possible. I don't think I'm gonna destroy that building, but we got close. Good to go. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm out of range of it, so I just need to do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to jump and over here and shoot attack. it with the gauze rifle. Oh, you were just shy of it. All right, whatever. Shoot it with that, and we'll destroy that building. Perfect. Good kill, Commander. We just need to build. We just need to blow up three more. Reserve. Got it. Is there anything else to do? Uh, actually, ice tray. Standing by. Let's have you move. Love you move here. And I will be guarded. And we'll just ambush these fuckers. At least we know where they're landing. We're still going to be outnumbered when they show up. Yep, got a leopard on approach with Directorate Library. I'm guessing reinforcements. Confirm, Commander. It's about to get hot down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess they just showed up when these guys showed up. Oh, that's cheap. They get to go already. Well, at least I was already reinforced. Dear God. That's brutal. But all right. Wow, so we got a reinforcement wave and this wave that showed up. That's crazy. That's such bullshit. <laughs> Man, that is horse. I hear ya. Horse shit. That is horse shit. Let's just advance. Got we'll it. get the Marauder as close as possible so I can at least shoot medium lasers. Uh, 150. Yeah, too much. That's too hot. All right, so maybe... All right, we might be able to make that work. Uh, No, we're going to be just five short. We're going to be five short with that. You know what, though? That'll work, because then I can have glitch separator fire. I can make that work. I can make that work. Oh, good. Tell yep. me what to shoot. I'll have her multi-target next turn. We'll deal with the base first. Ugh. All right, you know what? Yeah, we'll shoot you with we'll shoot you with that. I can't multi-target, so we're gonna be efficient. Do as much damage to that. Oh, yeah, that we're gonna we're gonna kill that building. 
Engaging target. Perfect. Good. All right, we we've, we've blown up half this base. We might be able to do it before the direct before the reinforcement wave shows up at least. It sucks that the additional forces showed up. Yes, Commander. Couldn't really do much about that. But oh well. Wait, why is that? Oh, because of the ridge. Oh, this fucking assassin is going to be a problem. Although the turrets should at least shoot at it. Yeah, I probably should just concentrate fire on the marauder. Yeah, I'm going to concentrate fire on the marauder. Even with it being a little defended. And it taking half damage. Yeah, do that. Yep. Perfect. On it. Oh, it's not quite half damage. All right. Well, we still messed it up. Perfect. All right. Waiting for orders. Do I? Just... Ah, shit. Uh. What? Let's just. Try to fuck up the griffin. Roger. Let's see if I can just destroy this fucking thing in one mighty alpha strike. And we can. Mech destroyed. Alright. Turrets should handle the assassin for a turn. The assassin's probably gonna get a chance to shoot at one of my buildings. Can't do much about that. But I feel like that was. Yeah. <laughs> Directorate reinforcements are inbound to this location. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is where things get crazy. Oh, yeah, we're probably not going to be able to do it in one round. Although, you never know. We might be able to get it done in one round. We might be able to take out that base next round. Oh, good. Yeah, shoot at the turret instead. That works for me. Yeah, I had a feeling they would shoot at that. Yeah, I know the Fendi facility is under fire. I know if we lose it, the mission scrubbed. We're handling it as best we can. All right. So now, yes, good. We can advance on that, and we can destroy that medium military building. And we've got this base. Perfect. Yep. Let's do it. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Destroy that building. And then I could just have glitch fire two medium lasers at the one building, and then it's done. This base is toast. The question is, do we do it fast enough to uh, actually... Nope, I have to be there. <laughs> nope, I have to be there. All right. Yeah, we'll shoot you with two medium lasers. That's Got the it. end of the facility. Perfect. That's the last of them. The enemy base has been destroyed. Commander, we've completed all the primary objectives and you're clear to extract. I'm on station to pick you up here whenever you're ready, boss. All right, so as long as you're still in the AO, Commander, you need to help to keep the restoration base secure. So if the restoration base gets destroyed, we still lose. But at this What's point... Up, we're going to shoot that Marauder again. Let's try to take out the Marauder. Because that Marauder is also making sure the enemy uh, mechs take less damage. So we have to destroy that Marauder. Uh, now, sure. Now I'll face that direction. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about Ace Pilot, where you can fire first and then move. What's up, boss? Okay. Now we advance. Uh, yes. Now we get to shoot the griffin in the back. That was the kind of the reason why I wanted to set up in that kind of pincer. Part. Yes, this will do. Uh, I'm thinking this griffin's fucked. Got the drop on you. Goodbye. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Both of the auto cannons hit its center torso in the back. Jesus Christ. That griffin didn't stand a chance. All I need is a Mortal Kombat sound real fatality. Or flawless victory. <laughs> yeah, the remaining turrets may. Yep. Destroyed. Remaining turrets took out the assassin. <laughs> All right. Well, mission accomplished. Cool. Mission successful. Yeah, I think I think we'll call that a night at this point. But I would consider this a, a successful stream and mission. 
We did one more campaign mission, got that taken care of. We defended Smithen. We got the other primary primary mission to uh, pop up. So we got to go uh, ha liberate House Gallus, which which is what I thought was going to happen. I had a feeling we had a defense mission. We have another invasion where we have to liberate House Gallus to go to Itrum to do that. We'll have another defense mission after that. And uh, life will be good. So um, let's get this sort of squared away here. Still a lot of a lot of mech kills. Maybe we'll spend a little bit of XP. We'll do a couple of little logistics things. May as well complete the archer. We got all that archer salvage and I really didn't need that much of it. Let's see, anything good? And yeah, just a plus five PPC. Wow, I think I'd rather have. Wow, that's a lot of griffin salvage. Sure, let's go for the, uh, I mean, unless I just go for all the, all, all the, art, uh, all the archer salvage. Uh, actually, what I should do, Marauder. Should definitely complete the Marauder if we can. Definitely go for that. I don't see anything else crazy. Okay. But we will complete that archer. I don't know if we're going to sell the archer. I think we'll just sell the archer. Because we've got the, we've kind of got the better archer already. Any day you want to load, it's probably have it has to complete the archer and add it to my mech bay. That's why it's taking so long. In a second, and Yang's little update. That there it is. is back so yeah. It does, and it does, it does trade its long range punch, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's heat management still is a real problem. I prefer the archer variant we have. And again, even this one is modified because I took out two medium lasers just so that, uh, it could fire more often. Oh, I did fit the, uh, targeting computer into it. Cool. That's why we were hitting with so many more, uh, LRMs. I was like 95%? Hell yeah that that's why uh <laughs> yeah that targeting computer man it dramatically improves the lethality of that archer it it's awesome it's just awesome so let's sell sell yep sell the 2s now we've got four million c bills we're actually getting almost to the point we're going to uh a um a place with the black market starts to make sense i'm not going to do that now might do that at the beginning of the next time i stream uh stream this oh let's yeah let's just training complete we could do another one of these i think we'll go with the base training weapon hit commander commander don't think yeah you're already at your maximum aye, aye. Ice tray. Yep, we need breaching shot. Training. We should do that as soon as possible. Breaching shot is fucking awesome. Actually, in your case, let's go with plus three hit defense so you get hit less. Yes, Commander. All right, so there's all of that. I might even wait to determine our next move because we could do Itrum. I'm not. We're not doing any more of these missions, but. We've got our options because with the amount of money we have now, we could easily go to Mechter, which has a black market. Actually, I mean, we might even want to do that. Okay, so we're here at Smithen. We need to go here to Itram to liberate it. Let's see, actually. Let's let's take a look. Maybe we do want to commit to one of these. So we've got a... This goes to Mechter and this goes to Mechter. Well, maybe... So we've got uh, a lance of director military units engaging in maneuvers on Mechter, which is a region we control. It's an aggressive action. Hunt down the enemy lance and uh, eliminate it. You know what? We will probably, yeah, let's just commit to that. We'll commit to this. We'll do this. We will do that. Calculating course now, Commander. We'll go to Mechter. We'll do that mission starting next stream. We'll just pause for now. That will give Medusa time to heal up. He'll be back on his feet. We'll get a little more time in on the Gamma Pod. We'll see what the Black Market has to offer. Maybe we can find an ER small laser for the Highlander. 
that would be nice. Let's quit the desktop and save and quit. We will save at Smithen. That is beautiful. This worked out pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, at Smithen, we didn't save all of the dropships, but we saved enough to succeed at the mission. Let's take a quick look. Oh, it looks like somebody messaged me on Discord. And that is, uh, that's just war. I, th I thought thought it was Warhammer messaging something about uh, the Battletech stream, but it's him messaging me about random stuff. So my apologies on that. <laughs> that that'll teach me to believe that he would ever message me something relevant to something I'm streaming. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> uh, he's an awesome dude. I, 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 <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> oh my God. Let us see um, who's, who's up. We actually got Darkstar, but he's streaming something I don't want to uh, spoil for myself, I don't think. Yeah, he's playing Rebirth. So yeah, if you were playing early remake, uh, I think we'd we'd uh, we'd we'd raid out to him. But uh, but yeah, there's there's nobody else on. So I think we're just going to call this a night. Uh, at some point, Darkstar will start streaming something else that I don't want to spoil for myself and, and life will be good. Uh, so let me get things sort of set up here as I'm, I'm kind of uh, wrapping up things for the evening here. So channel update, let's see. Uh, I'm probably, normally I like to threaten to stream on Saturdays, but I think based on how my week has been going, uh, I'm just gonna relax and kind of tidy up my house and uh, deal with some other stuff. So I think Saturday's gonna be an errand day and Saturday night, um, which I'm leaning either towards six o'clock start time or seven o'clock start time, uh, playing more East Book One. We should finish East Book One on Sunday, and I am actually really excited to get back to that. That is really fun. Um, definitely having fun getting through the Battletech campaign. This is this is just such a fun game, even though I've played it a bunch of times at this point. Um, <laughs> there's always a new surprise. There's always some new wrinkle. There's always some new way a mission unfolds in an unexpectedly fun way where you're like, oh shit, how am I handling this? Uh, but it's also fun to, you know, improve the mechs, improve the company, our pilots are getting better, and life is pretty good here. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. And for uh, everybody who tried, tried today, I want to thank you very kindly, and I will see you guys all on Sunday. Until then, have a great one. Ciao.